Ikare. Midland was burning, for Robar the Second was dead, his realm crumbling. His crown now rested on the brow of Robar the Third, once a champion of Enos, who has sworn to reunite the realm. Destiny seemed to smile on Robar the Third, and soon he claimed the entire continent as his own. But as he was setting sail to reclaim the southern islands, a shadow fell upon the king darkened his mind. By the time his troops had landed on the island of Argon and taken Thorniara, the king's mind was no more than a flickering candle in the dark. The amulet? I... I must fight. 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 Robar's generals executed his orders to the letter. Lord Hagen led his men to the west of the island, while Lee headed east to lay siege to the royal city of Satarath. My king! I bring Men's dire news. doing well and I advancing in the thorny are accords. Touches Sitaric population is possessed. Quiet! I need peace and quiet!
come back! Come back and fight me! Did you have nightmares again? Yeah, with the king in the cave. It's because you've been sleeping the whole day. Did you come here just to wind me up? No, my father's looking for you. Chroma? What does he want? No idea. He's in a foul mood though. He's waiting for you in the village. Hmm. Well, I'd better go and talk to him then. How about a kiss? Not now. Everything all right? Hello, Auric. Oh, Shepard. Gromar's been looking for you. Do you know why Gromar's looking for me? No idea. But you better run, Shepard. Gromar's been looking for you for quite some time already. What is it you're doing behind my back? Oh, you mean the... I can explain. Oh, really? I just want to learn something. Sure, and my sheep can dance. Stay away from my daughter. From your daughter? Oh, of course, we, uh, we want to stay modest until we get married. I, I want to become a decent man. You want to marry my daughter? I love her. And she loves me. <laughs> Love. Before you marry Ivy, you'll need to pass three trials. It's a tradition in my family. Three trials? All right. What's the plan then? Do you know where you can find Melgan's tomb? Melgan's tomb? Right behind Nut's farm. Right. Enter the crypt, take Melgan's dagger from his grave and bring it to me. What did my father want? Test me. Test you? Yes. Have you told him about us? I'm not that stupid. Well, someone else must have told him about us then. What now? Now I'll recover Melgan's dagger from his grave so we can get married. You want to marry me? Don't you? Sure. It... it just comes so quickly. Who would tell your father about us? Auric, maybe. You told Auric about us? No, he saw us and we quarreled about it. Oh, there you are. Sorry, Shepard. I can't let you cross the bridge. I've got trouble with mole rats in my fields. Until I get rid of them, people are better off staying in the village. Gromar wants me to go to Melgan's grave. Ah, uh, Gromar. In that case, I'll let you pass. Well, I should think so. Listen, Shepard, I'll tell you what. What is it? I'll give you my club if you kill the mole rats on my fields. Then give it to me. I'll take care of the mole rats. You've got mole rats on your fields? They don't tolerate sun, do they? The sunlight doesn't particularly do them good, but they're still dangerous.
What have we got here? Burning Galwick oil. I bet that was nut. Lost. Are you back again? Did you slay the mole rats? The mole rats are dead, and your fields are safe again. Hey, I would have expected a thank you. Yeah, yeah, thanks. Is it possible that Gromar sent you to Melgan's grave too? What makes you think that? Someone ignited a jar of Galwak oil in the crypt to drive the mole rats outside. Don't you use the oil to chase away the wild animals from your fields? What if I do? Stay away from Ivy Nut, or you'll regret it. Have you got the dagger? Here is Melgan's dagger. Ooh. Well, the first trial was the easiest anyway. What's the second one? You need to show you're able to protect Ivy. Do you want to fight me? No. Some smuggler seems to have settled down by the mountain lake. Drive him away from our island and bring me his weapon as a proof. The gate of the pond is closed. I'll need the key if I'm to take care of this smuggler. Sure, here it is. And now go. Tried to eavesdrop on you, but couldn't hear a thing. What does my father want now? He gave me the key you normally steal from his nightstand for me. Why? 
I am to drive away Diego from the island. But that's going to be difficult. I'll speak with Diego. Maybe he'll come up with something. Here you are again, my friend. How are your bruises doing? Not too bad. Oh, in that case, do you want to practice again? I'd like to, but... But what? Gromar ordered me to drive you away from the island and bring him your saber as proof. Really? <laughs> hmm. Now why'd he want to do that? Oh, it's a trial or something. Before I marry Ivy. Well then... You've got a problem. Looks like it. What are we going to do now? I need to return to Argan soon anyway. Show me that you have learned something from me. And I will give you an old notched machete for Gromar. Do you know why Gromar wants to get rid of you? Well, my friend, I guess it's because he owes me money. Or he wanted to give you a trial that you'd never pass. Isn't Gromar going to figure out the scam with the machete? Nah, he's never even been here himself. He sends Oryk, his servant, to purchase goods from me. Let's fight! Not bad. I surrender. Oh, you're getting old. <laughs> Will you give me the machete now? Easy, easy, my friend. First you'll show me you can also fight against someone who doesn't wish you well. Who should I fight then? If you head down the path to the beach, you'll find some goblins skulking around my boat. They skedaddle every time I come near. And I'm too lazy to chase after them. Take care of them for me, and I'll give you the machete. I caught the goblins. They are dead. Ah, now, my friend, you really proved you know your business. So you'll give me the machete now? Yes, 
Here it is. Send my best to old Gromar. Oh, you better not. After all, you've driven me away from the island. <laughs> Come back later! you are. What about that smuggler? Did you drive him away? I drove the smuggler away. Here's the proof. Hmm, not bad. But don't get your hopes up too soon. One trial is still to be passed. What is it? You have to prove to me that you can provide for Ivy. So I want you to hunt three big and strong deer, and to bring their antlers to me as a proof. I have no bow. Can you lend me one? No. After all, you have legs and a machete. In my time, we had to slay boars with our bare hands. Hmm. I'll manage then. We'll see. I told Ivy to open the gate to the deer thickets for you when you're done with the smuggler. Just go see her. Did Diego give you the machete? He did. I've already shown it to your father. What did Diego ask of you for it? He wanted me to kill some goblins. And that's what I did. You fought goblins? Really? That's right. Now I need to hunt a few stags. How are you going to accomplish that? I'll chase them until they drop. Oh, <laughs> I'd like to see that. You're a huntress, aren't you? Can't you give me your bow? I can't give it to you. It'd be against the rules. But, <laughs> I accidentally left it inside the hunting blind. You can go fetch it there. Thanks, Ivy. Wait, I'll unlock the gate for you. Have fun with the stags. And if you run out of arrows, come and see me. I'll slip you some.
Did you bag the deer? Here are the antlers. Are they magnificent enough? Yes, they are. Then I have your blessing. You do. Here, take this relic as a sign of my consent. What kind of relic is it? Many years ago, my grandfather brought it here from Argan. They say there are many more there like this one. He who finds them all will achieve glory and riches. Whenever my grandfather talked about it, he had a big grin on his face. Oh, yeah? Well, nobody will ever manage to find all the relics on Argan. After all, one of them's here in Fesher. You do, but you'll have to do one more thing. Another trial? No trial, my son. You'll need an engagement bangle for Ivy and her consent. A bangle? Hmm. I guess I should talk to Holwyn about it. Maybe he can help me. You do that, my son. So did Gromar consent at last? Yes, he just did. Well, congratulations. All I need now is an engagement bangle for Ivy, but I can't afford one, actually. Speak to Oric. He found some amber on the beach a couple of days ago. Get some from him, and I'll make you a bangle. You do that? Sure. What a friend's for. All good? Ah, uh, Shepard. Auric, I heard you found some amber on the beach. Yes, Shepard. Beautiful amber. Could I get it off you? To keep? Yeah, I need it for an engagement bangle for Ivy. Auroch is a servant and trader. So? Trader Auroch wants gold. I have none. Servant Auroch wants to be a master. What do you mean? The shepherd will be Auroch's servant. Then Aura gives the shepherd the amber for free. I see. What should I do for you? Aura likes blue toadstools. They grow in a cave with a door in the middle of the deer thickets. Aura always goes to pick mushrooms himself. But now Aura has a servant. The servant takes the key and brings six blue toadstools. Yes. Give me the key. I'll get you the blue toadstools. Run, servant, run! Aurochs hungry!
the mushrooms. Here are the blue toll stores. I found them. Good servant. Quick servant. How about the amber? Can't have it, shepherd. Halwyn might make something nice with it for the young lady. Everything all right? Have you got the amber? Here's the amber. Excellent. I've already prepared everything. I'll just put the amber into its setting. So that's it. Satisfied? Good work, Holwyn. Looks quite precious. Nervous? Yeah, a little. Ah, uh, don't sweat it. She's pregnant. She won't say no. What? Uh, she hasn't told you yet then. Ivy's pregnant? How? Didn't you, uh, know what I mean? Yes, but... Well, then you shouldn't be surprised. Here, take the bangle and go see her. You'll be all right. May Enos be with you. Oh, there you are. Are you pregnant? Who told you? Holwyn! The idiot! So you really are? I've always wanted a baby, haven't you? Yes, but that... it's also sudden. Fair enough. Was there anything else you wanted from me? Your father gave me his blessing. And I have an engagement bangle here for you. Will you marry me? Yes, I will. You will? I will. One condition, though. What condition? Promise me that we'll travel to Argon right after the wedding. But you're pregnant! That's the point! Before I become as round as a ball, I'd like to experience a real adventure and leave this barren island. Then I should talk to Diego. Hurry! He was going to leave better for good. Go to Diego! Nut, what do you want? Smack you in the mouth because of Ivy. You really think you can? You asshole. I'll finish you off. Well then, let's fight. I'll turn you into a sheep. Stop, stop. You win. Leave Ivy alone. Do you understand? Yes, sure, yes. I'll leave her alone.
With a grin like that on your face, Romar must have given you his blessing. That he did. Then let me in on it. Ivy wants to go with me to Argan. There's a war going on, my friend. That's no place for lovers. When you started to teach me, you promised to bring me to Argan one day. Back then, you were going to travel alone. Now Ivy wants to accompany you. You are a good teacher. I am absolutely capable of protecting her. You are able to protect her? <laughs> Prove it. I defeated you in a duel and killed the goblins, remember? I was nice enough to let you win. And the goblins were just goblins. In a real fight, you wouldn't have much of a chance. So prove to me that you can protect Ivy, and I'll take both of you to Argan. Do you want to fight me again? No. I have a bundle of rare herbs here for Lyrka. Take it to her. You want me to go to Lyrka? The witch? I... I'd have to cross the dark forest. They say the wildest animals on the island live there. You don't have to go. You can stay on Fesher with Ivy and her sheep. Give me the bundle. I'll take it to Lyrka. All right, here you are. And here's a key, too. Use it to open the door at the end of my cave. Go east until you find a path. Follow it to the northwest. It will lead you to Lyrka's hut.
Well, afraid of Lyrica, the witch from the dark forest. <laughs> I'm not afraid. Might be, might not be. My nose is telling me. Might be. Diego sent me. Yes, I know. <laughs> Bring you herbs. Give them to me. Here are the herbs. I'll leave them. Leave? No. You aren't here just because of the herbs. Diego didn't mention anything else. Didn't he, eh? But he promised he'd send you. Yes, he surely did. Why would he? <laughs> because I asked him to. You? Why? Because I sensed something right after they found you. Something that must be awakened. Sensed? Something that must be awakened? I don't understand any of this. Something slumbers in your chest. Some power. Some magic power. <laughs> Nothing I know of. Yes, yes. I can sense it. It must only be awakened. How? Just close your eyes. You said you sensed something right when they found me. What did you mean by that? Alma isn't your mother. Yes, she is. I'm positive. <laughs> No, she's not. Found you on the beach after a stormy night. She did. I don't believe you. Ask her when you get back to the village. Good. I trust you. See, I'm, I'm closing my eyes. Yes. That's very good. Again. How long have I been sleeping? Oh, a couple of hours. <laughs> what? The awakening of magic takes its time. Can I cast spells now? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe only make use of magical scrolls. Where are we here? In a cave under the dark forest. I. I know this cave. From your dreams? Yes, that's right. <laughs> what are we doing here? Want to do me a favor? A favor? Gnome vermin are everywhere in this cave. Loads of them, eh? Steel alone won't suffice if you're planning on killing them all. Lone vermins retract into their shells, just like turtles. <laughs> but you can prevent that using lightning, eh? With lightning? Here. <laughs> Take this magical scroll. Kill the lone vermin. <laughs> they make my trees sick. And don't forget the queen. All right, I won't. If you don't have any more scrolls, come to me. I will give you new ones. <laughs> but don't you waste them.
will take you to our camp. myself upon Rovar the Third and his cursed paladins. You wouldn't know a sword from a toothpick. They'd mince you. You want Ivy's death to go unavenged? And what about that of my mother and my friends? No, but what if there was a way to avenge yourself without storming right into your death? Hmm. Let's hear it. It is said that there is an ancient temple somewhere in the mountains. They say there's a blessed anvil there. Robar's paladins search for the temple because they want to use the anvil to forge weapons for their campaign against Argan. I see. And I should interfere with their plans. Exactly. And if the anvil really does exist, forge yourself something to speed your vengeance. Where should I start looking for the temple? On the hill back there. In the Cleave Maiden Tavern, you'll find a mage by the name of Duranis there. He knows a lot of the old stories. Talk to him. Maybe he'll have heard of the temple. What do you know about the Paladin's plans? When I was still at Robar's court, I always kept a watchful eye on Lord Hagen and his men. And many a maid servant of the Paladins kept an ear open for me. So who is this Lord Hagen? He commands the Paladins and is a member of Robar's High Council. Will you join me? No. You need to learn to stand on your own two feet. I'll be sailing on to Stuart. When you arrive in Stuart, talk to the Landlord at the Cliff Tavern. He'll know where to find me. I don't know you. How'd you get in here? By boat, from Fesher. And you expect me to believe that? Look at the beach down there. That's my boat. Hm. I'll let you through. But if you cause any trouble, you'll have us woodcutters to deal with. Got it? I'm looking for Duranus. Where can I find him? In the pub or in his room. You best ask Murdra. She'll know where he's at. Murdra? The landlady here. Just go in. You'll see her. But if I see one, I'll beat the shit out of him!
Why did I leave Matana again? Oh, right. The war. Guy. Who let you in here? One of the woodcutters from the farm. Just so you know, normally I decide who comes in. I know. I'll have to deal with the woodcutters. Right. Don't you forget that. I'm looking for Duranus. A noble man? Really think he'd receive a bloke like you, would he? We'll see. Just tell me where I can find him. Sitting upstairs in his room, our noble man is. Reading what he always does. They even got to bring his food up to him, I have. Go up the stairs and out onto the balcony. Then turn right. That's where his room is. I'd like to have a look at your wares. Are you Duranus? Yes. What do you want? I'm searching for an ancient temple up in the mountains. Yes, I heard about a temple up there. Where exactly? Don't know, but there is an archive of old maps in the fortress at Silver Lake. If ever there was a place to find a clue, it's there. So how do I get to Silver Lake? Well, not at all, at the moment. Brigands have occupied the bridge to Stuark. People here are trying to think of a way to deal with the brigands. Help them. Perhaps they'll help you. Who's working on the brigand problem here? Murdra, the landlady here, I'm sure. And I think Rorta has a plan too. Rorta? A guild fighter. He was here just a moment ago, making vague insinuations about secret negotiations with some of the brigands. Where's Rorta now? He's headed for the old Sederifian Watchtower, to the south of here on the beach. What are you doing here? I thought mages hang around the monastery all day long. <laughs> Some do, indeed. I, however, am on my way by order of Grand Master Milton. He has expressed great interest in the ancient stone circles scattered throughout our game. And have you discovered anything about the stone circles? So far, only that they drive me insane. The Grand Master discovered a way to awaken their power. But all the circles I've found so far are immune to my magic. Hmm, I have a feeling someone's beaten us to the punch. What happens when a stone circle awakens? Apparently, the circles are connected. If one could establish a connection to one of the circles, it should be possible to travel instantly to it from another circle. We experimented with two circles in Thorny Ara, 
But nothing's working here. Well, if you're curious, there's one not far from the Cleaved Maiden. my hands on him. Creepy. Simply creepy. Did you go see our noble man then? Yes. He suggested that I should lend a hand to the people around here. How are things with you? Anything I can do for you? Mm, why not? You look like a big, strong lad, you do. What do you want me to do? I'm starting to run out of mead, and it'll be a while till the next supply comes. I see. You want me to get some for you? From Garv, one of the woodcutters. He must have a few barrels left. Would you get me two? I heard you had a plan for dealing with the brigands. Would you tell me? <laughs> Looking to spy on me, are you? Forget it. I'll go to Garv and get you the mead. Ah, the guests will be pleased about that. And so will I. Where can I find Garv? Out through the gate, then down the path to the right, past the old watchtower. That's where his hut is. Garv is a woodcutter too. What do you think of him? Yep, he's a woodcutter too, working for the Baron. Watch out though, he's a drunk and a pretty nasty guy. Drowned his cat in a bucket not that long ago. That should tell you everything. Where can I find Garth? Follow the path downwards to the right here and go past the old watchtower. You'll find Garth's hut there. But keep your eyes peeled if you go to Garth's. The goblins, you see. What do the brigands want here, on your bridge? Darton, their leader, wants to take revenge on the landlady of the Cleaved Maiden. Why's that? He used to be her servant, and she didn't treat him very kindly. Now he occupies the bridge to Stua, to keep people away from the Maiden, and the mead and ale merchants too. What are you doing around here anyway? My guild sent me here to keep an eye on the coast, in case the Mertanians come ashore. Which guild do you belong to? To the rangers in the Valley of Blood, if they still exist, that is. What do you mean? When I was sent here, a large part of my guild had joined Lord Gowan to meet the Mertanians in the Gorge of Thorniara. Just before Dartan occupied the bridge, I heard that the Mertanians had taken the gorge and pushed Gowan back into the Valley of Blood. That means no good news about my guild. Oh, 
Hey, hey! There's one over there! Stay where you are, boy. You're not getting through here. What are you doing here? Listen up, matey. I ain't in the mood to yap. If you want to talk, go talk to you, lad. And leave me alone. Get lost. Nobody's getting through here. What are you doing here? I'm supposed to be watching out. Because of murderer. Are you a friend of murderers? No. Will you let me through? I don't know. No. Otherwise, Dark Town will be disappointed.
Look at him. <laughs> what do you want here? I heard you had some mead. Well, looky here. We got a thirsty one. <laughs> you think you're gonna get what you want? Just give me two kegs of mead, and I'll leave your face in one piece. Hey lads, look here. Somebody's looking for a wallopin. He belongs to me. Enough. Hand me the mead. Here, take it. I'm no longer thirsty. by boat, did you? How did you know that? Dartan has cut off the bridge to the north, and the pass in the south is buried under a landslide. So, if you can't swim across the Silver Lake, a boat is the only possibility. You don't look like an ordinary traveler. Who are you? My name is Zyra. I'm an adventurer. I specialize in old ruins. You're a specialist in ruins? So have you heard anything about an old temple here in the mountains? You're looking for an old temple? How exciting! Tell me more. I don't know much myself, but Robar's paladins are looking for the temple too. The paladins? Yes. They say there's a blessed anvil there. The paladins want it, and I'm going to stop them from getting it. So you're fighting for the king of Sitarith? No, I fight for no king. I want to avenge my friends who were murdered by Robar's men. I'm sorry about your friends, but be careful. Vengeance is a double-edged sword. I've talked to a mage. He gave me a lead where I could perhaps find out more about the temple. Yeah? Where? In the castle in Silver Lake, there's an old archive. Maybe I can find out more about the temple there. Well, you'll have to think about how you're going to get past the brigands. Otherwise, you won't get to Silver Lake. I know. Ah, <laughs> there you 
war again. Got the mead yet? I've got the mead. Ah, good for something you are. So, any idea how I can get across the bridge? Take a keg of mead. Go to the guards at the entrance of the brigand's camp and ask them if they'll let you through. You think that'll work? Not really, but they'll nick the mead from you and drink it themselves. Spike it with a few iron bullets. That'll rob them of their free will. That way you can take D'Artagnan by surprise, and the bridge will be free. Sounds good. You win. Let's try the trick with the mead. We've already got a cake of mead. You'll just need to get three iron bullets for me. Where can I get iron bullets? Go to the old mine. There's some growing there. Anything else I should know? Well, now that you ask, the entrance to the old mine has caved in. Happened a few years ago. You'll have to think of something if you want to get in. But maybe you won't need to if diggers cleared the entrance to the mine. Been talking about it for weeks now, about getting it opened again, the old mine. Where can I find Digger? Just go to the entrance of the old mine. That's where he'll be. What effect do Iron Bullets have? They turn you into a bumbling idiot that does anything anyone tells you to do. Like opening a gate, for example. <laughs> right. Is it true that Darton used to work for you? He did. Wasn't worth a piss in a pot, the dog. Wasn't any good, eh? Why? Lazy he was, and a right scatterbrain. Used to sort off for days at a time, leaving me alone with all the work and the guests. So, what did you do to make Dartan hate you so much? What did I do? Me? Nothing is what I did. I warned him I did, again and again. Alright, he took the odd beating with my belted broom, but what would you do with a wretched boy like that? Greetings!
What are you doing here? All right, great. I'm working myself into an early grave with this pickaxe here. If I had me a lembic, everything would be easier. I'd blow up a tincture and shed there. The entrance to the mind would be clear. Where's your lembic? <laughs> in the old tunnel that I live in, I haven't the courage to go in there right now, though. Wild beasts running around in my tunnel, you see. Woohoo! And there's me thinking. Maybe you'd have the guts, eh? I'll get you your limbic. <laughs> well, I've actually already got one. Maybe that'll do the job. Let's have a look. Here. Oh, that's my limbic. You can have it. It's more important that you open up the entrance to the mine. Ha! It won't take me long, and kablooey, the mine will be open. Right, now you've got the tincture, so I... Oh, no, no, sorry. <laughs> you did all the work, so you must want some fun, too. Here, melt the rubble away. Brought to warn me about the old mine. Because of Gothard, right? Exactly. Aren't you afraid of the mine? Gothard may have been crazy, but maybe not. But either way, he's dead as a door near now. Has been for years. The ones that were still knocking deeper down in the mine, they're dead too. As cold as the stone they lie. But me, the mine couldn't kill me. Oh no, trapped me for two days it did. But it couldn't kill me. I'm not afraid of the mine anymore. I stopped being afraid during those two days. Wanna talk, eh? Waiting for Mel
Well, have you got the iron bullets? Here are the iron bullets. Ah, good. Very good. So let's put them in the mead. So, that's taken care of. Take the barrel and go to the guard at the brigand camp. Just pretend you want to get over the bridge. I bet you they'll just take the mead from you and drink it. What then? Wait until the mushrooms take effect, and the brigands will be stripped of their free will. You'll be able to order them to open the gate for you then. Then you can get into the cop and take Dart into the other brigands by surprise. I'd like to have a look at my friends. Bridge is closed. I thought you'd let me through if I gave you a keg of mead. You've got mead? Mmm. <laughs> Hand it over. Can I pass by then? Sure you can, if the mead tastes good. <laughs> that won't give you the entire barrel, but I'll let you try it. Here, have a drink. You give you lad some of the mead, but not me. I don't think that's gonna get you over the bridge! Okay, okay, sorry. Here, have a sip. Do I know you? I... I feel so strange. Tell your friends in there to open the gate. What? Oh, the gate. Oi! Open the gate!
Are you one of Darton's men? No, I've just put an end to Darton. So I can finally cross the bridge. Thank you. Don't mention it. I only did what was necessary to finally reach Silver Lake. Silver Lake? Hmm. I fear you might have a problem, my friend. What do you mean, problem? Well, if you want to get to Silver Lake from here, you'll need to go through the Valley of Blood. But the Baron of Stuart has blocked any access to the valley because of the battle raging there. Nobody gets through without a permit. Who can I get one from? You'll need to talk to the Baron directly. As far as I know, he's the only one who can give you a permit. Where do I find the Baron? In the Citadel, in the heart of Stuart. That's the town up there on the rock in the sea. is getting scarce. I don't know you. Where are you from and what are you doing here? I'm from Fesher and need the Baron's permission to travel to Silver Lake. Ha! <laughs> You'll be waiting a long time then! Why? The Baron ain't got no time for little things like that. His brother Hurton and his sister Leuven have betrayed Stuart to the doomed King of Matana. 
Turoba? Is the city in danger? If we can't get the shackles on the traitor soon, it will be. Us Stuart lot will never kneel before the Mertanians. Death or honor! That's good to hear. The doomed king has my home on his conscience. Listen, can I give it a try with the Baron anyway? Maybe I can help. All right then, into the city with you, stranger. But we'll be keeping an eye on you. One more thing. Where can I find the Cliff Tavern? Through the gate and to the left, stranger. How do I get to the Baron? Just keep going up the steps, stranger. Keep going till you see Gorn, the guard captain. from the bridge. Welcome to the Cliff Tavern, stranger. Diego said you'd know where I could find him. Diego? Yes, he was here. But I haven't seen him for quite a while. He even left a bill unpaid, and that's not like him at all. Diego is disappeared? From one day to the next. Perhaps it's something to do with the argument. Argument? Who was Diego arguing with? Diego was arguing with the Baron's counselor. I think it had something to do with taxes. Where can I find Merman? Well, at the Baron's, of course. see the Baron. <laughs> What's so funny then? Look, lad, the Baron's the Baron. He doesn't see just anyone. Why should he see you? I need to get to the Valley of Blood and I need his permission. <laughs> you want to fight in the Valley of Blood? You? Ha! You ain't got the muscle. I don't want to fight. I want to get to Silver Lake. Forget it, lad. I ain't letting anyone through. You neither. But, uh, hey, wait a minute. I've seen you somewhere before. Ain't you the boy from Besher? The one that came to Argan with Diego? You know Diego? <laughs> you surprised? Diego is a friend of mine. A good and old friend. Told me about you, he did, before they locked him up. Diego's locked up? It's hard to believe, ain't it? Usually I'm the one locked up and he gets me out. Now it's the other way around. Would you help me? What's your plan? My plan? <laughs> I don't need a plan. I've got my axe. But Diego told me that I should wait. He thinks it'll take care of itself. Go down to the dungeon and talk to him. Maybe he'll have changed his mind. Can I just get in like that? Tell Aldrich, the guard, that I sent you. Tell him that if he doesn't let you through, he'll get a smack in the mouth. And how do I get to the dungeon? Go back down the steps here and take the next flight of steps to the right. Just keep going down until you see Aldrich's ugly face. Why is Diego sitting in the dungeon? He had an argument with Mermin, the Baron's right-hand man. Since then, Mermin has disappeared. Baron's men think that Diego murdered him. You think Diego's guilty? If Diego kills anyone, he'll do it out in the open, man to man. Kill someone in secret? <laughs> Not on your life. So what do you think happened to Mermit? I say it was the rebels. They took Mermit to weaken Baron Renwick. What's the story with the rebels? They're 
led by Baron's brother. The boy's name is Hurtan. They say he has something going on with Robar. Why was Diego arguing with Mermond? Mermond found out that Diego does business here in the city from time to time. He wanted to charge him tax. Diego would not have it. <laughs> That's Diego for you. Can I help you? Oh, let me guess. Ogtar sent you. I'm afraid his shrines haven't arrived yet. All down to the war, you see. Nobody sent me. Certainly not Ogtar. Forgive me. A strong lad like you. I thought you were one of Ogtar's bruisers. Is that supposed to be a compliment? But of course. I can always make use of someone like you. If you help me, I'll have something useful for you. You need help? What is it? There's a house nearby, in the central part of town, where you can hear voices and muffled screams at night. The windows glow red like blood. I look myself, but I'm scared. What about the city guard? They laughed at me. Me! People these days don't have any respect. I'll have a look around that creepy house for you. I fear this could be a little complicated. The owner's got the key, see? And, well, he's got no manners at all. I've dealt with louts before. Who is it? Guardsman Chuck. He's responsible for the storage room, directly to the right of the gate. You're asking me to piss on the boots of the entire Stuart Guard? Oh, no worries. Everybody hates Chuck. Even his fellow watchmen will look the other way if Chuck should happen to fall down some stairs. And it's getting worse and worse. My laundry! Step back, please. At least the vegetables are good. Nothing here to see. Keep moving. There's nothing here to see. Do you want to be initiated into the secrets of alchemy? I can teach you to brew magical potions. Can't do any harm. Excellent. You scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. As my apprentice, you'll have to first take care of a small matter for me. Oh, should have seen that coming. What do you want me to do for you? I sent Hem, my assistant, to carry out an experiment. He should have been back long ago. Useless he is, the lad. Bloody useless. 
I need someone to take care of business there. All right, I'll go and check on him. Excellent. If he's still alive, give him a slap. I will. Where should I look for him? I sent the idiot eastwards, uh, near Oktar's farm. Oh no! Careful! They seem to like it up there. Damn rain! I'd like to look at your goods. Nothing here to see. it
disturb me. Get out of here, you rascal! Piss off! Easy, big man. Your help is needed. Have you lost it? What do you want, half -pain? Just give me the key to your house, then you'll be spared the pain. Am I hearing you right? You want the key to my house? That's right. I've got a bone to pick with your tenants. What have my tenants got to do with you? Are you completely off your head? Don't say I didn't warn you. When I'm done with you, I'm gonna feed you to the pigs. Shit! The bollocks! Stop it! <laughs> Who's feeding the pigs now? Hand over the key. Here it is. Have fun with the tenants. I will. <laughs> They're gonna kill you. Just like that. <laughs> You'd like that, huh? Oh, you can bet your last gold coin on that! <laughs>
Any news? What's going on up there? That was a real can of worms. Oh, really? I think that was a belly art cult. Sick bastards. Not of this world. It's worse than I feared. We must inform the guard immediately. Not necessary. They can kiss their god right on the feet now. Ha! Good work. Just thinking about having had them as neighbors. Here, your reward. You sincerely earned it. You mentioned something about shrines. You sell shrines? Oh, but sure, I, I sell everything. Ogtar, for example, wants a magnificent shrine to Enos from Gotha and an ornate shrine to Beliar from Bakarash. The good man doesn't know what to do with all his money. Aren't you bringing the wrath of gods upon yourself by doing this? I've studied the gods all my life, and I can tell you one thing. They're not bothered about little things. You're a priest? A scholar. I can tell you things about the gods that would have the priest's hair stand on end. Only ever interested in one side of the coin, that stubborn lot. They never want to hear the whole truth. That's sacrilege. Bah! I've been doing this for over 20 years. If the gods are wrathful about it, they're taking the bloody time doing something about it. Don't you want to hear a little forbidden knowledge about the gods, hmm? Faithful of the wrath of Enos? What are you doing here? Gorn sent me. I'm supposed to talk to Diego. <laughs> Anyone can claim that. Gorn said to tell you that if you don't let me through, you'll get a smack in the gob. Fair enough. Sounds like Gorn, all right. I'll let you through, but don't be playing silly buggers. What can you tell me about Gorn? Our captain. Well, he's new and not from around here, but he's got an hell of a fist, like a smith's hammer it is. Why do you have an outsider as your captain? <laughs> Are you kidding? That's the legendary mercenary Gorn, the hero of Gotha. I heard that he used to be friends with the doomed king, but now there's a lot of ill will between the two of them. Now he fights for us, our steward Gorn. What can I do for you? Ah, there you are. I'd hoped that you'd come. Be glad that I met Gorn. Otherwise, I'd never have found out that you were stuck in a cell. By the way, he's trying to get you out. I know, with his axe. But all that'll do is plunge the entire city into chaos. Do you want to stay in prison? <laughs> no, that's why I had hoped. What do you want me to do? Well, I'm being accused of having murdered Mermund, the Baron Renwick's right hand. Someone has to either prove that it wasn't me, or that Mermund is still alive. Gorn isn't the right one. He's a bit too rough. You, on the other hand, you might just manage it. Fair enough. 
I'll have a look for Merman then. Where should I start? Give Winston a try first. He was there when I spoke to Merman. Who's Winston? He's a soldier in the city guard. He is actually a nice guy. But I have this sneaking suspicion he's working with the rebels. Do you know where I can find him? He usually patrols the western fringes of the city. You should look there. Good, I will. Wait, I have something else for you. What? A kind of luck pick. It won't open any doors, but you can use it to open small crate and chest locks. Take it, it might come in handy. What do you want? You're Winston, right? That's me. What can you tell me about the Rebels? Well, those blokes reckon Hurtan is the true Baron of Stuart, and Renwick is just a... Whatever the case, we're hot on their heels. But those guys are clever. This Hurtan, he's the leader of the Rebels? Yes, he is. No wonder the Rebels love him so much, don't you think? Well, uh, I heard that common people also support him in secret. The Rebels have sympathizers among the common people. Oh, yes, they do. I mean, we'll put them behind bars too, of course. What about the guards? Do you think that some guards would rather have her tennis baron? W what? I... No chance! The guards are loyal. How could they even claim that? Enough. Tell me where you hid Merman, and I will turn you into Baron Renwick. What? How do you know that we have Merman? I do now. Out with it. Wait, do you really want to drive Stuart to ruin? Kissing the Doom King's ass won't save Stuart. Right! When her tans, Baron, they'll give him a good ass kicking. What? That's not what I heard. All lies! It's Renwick! Renwick wants to submit to Robar. His sister Leuven can prove it! Renwick? You're saying that the Baron is in cahoots with Robar? None other! Leuven figured it out. I'll only believe it when I see it. Listen, Leuven had to flee and is in hiding somewhere in the city. I don't know where. When you find her, you'll see that we're fighting on the right side. I've had enough. I'm not interested in your stories. Tell me where Mermond is or there'll be trouble. So, you're on Renwick's side. And I've got no other choice. Defend yourself! Defend yourself, you dog! We've got Mermon. He's being held in a cave. Outside, to the northeast of the Stuart countryside. There's an old, forgotten dirt trail that links the cave with Ogtar's estate. Well, why didn't you say so? You could have saved yourself this beating. We... We have a password. Tell it to the guard at the gate, and they'll let you in the hideout. 
Out with it. What's the password? In the name of Renwick, surrender. That's your password? Pertan hasn't lost his sense of humor, after all. What's up, little runt? Hey there, kid. I'm going to release Mermond. Herton is a traitor. Well, good luck then. Come with me. Help me fight the rebels. Look, kid. I stand here with my axe and watch the whips in there. That's how I earn my keep. I'll leave the rebels to you. That way, you can show whether you have the muscle for Damn rain! They seem to... Careful! Oh no! from the bridge. Hey, you! I've really got a problem. What would that be? The people are thirsty and I'm running out of me. Roger's already complaining because I told him that soon there won't be any left. Don't tell me that I need to get some for you from Murderer. No, no, I'm running out of honey. Get me a few honeycombs and I'll show you how to brew the stuff. How much honey do you need? You'd be best off plundering half a dozen beehives. That should be enough. I'll get some honey for you. Where can I find it? From Ogtar's farm in the east of the city. There are wild bees there. They should have honey too. The nests aren't always easy to find, so keep your eyes peeled. brings you here? The Hunter's Gorge is sealed tight, and I can't get to the Valley of Blood. That's how you end up in Stuart. Do you know your way around here? Beyond Stuart? Sure. There's plenty of farmland and plantations here, and a few other things. Other things? What do you mean? There are caves all around this area, and you don't hear a good thing said about them. In any case, I prefer the open sky above my head, and would rather keep my distance from dingy vaults. What do they say about the caves? The people here believe in an ancient curse and in undead monsters that roam the caves. Maybe it's all superstition, who knows? I'm not going to look and see if it's true anyhow. What then? What are you going to do? I'm going to start by looking for Ricklin. Then we'll surely find a way to get out of here. Who's Ricklin? My, uh, hmm. Well, uh, we're getting married soon. So, he's your lover? That's right. He's also one of the rangers, and was supposed to scout the north of Stuark while I looked around the south. So where's Ricklin now? Mm, if only I knew. I do worry with the rebels and all the stories. The region is in a bit of an uproar. Ricklin won't have joined the rebels, will he? I wouldn't have thought so. Oh, that would be terrible. Don't get me thinking about that. You never know, Jilby. I'll keep an eye open anyway. Can't hurt. I'll have a look around as well.
the name of Renwick.
In the name of Enos, who on earth are you? Did you come to murder me? I'll get you out of here. Come on, let's go. What about the Master of Inquiry? I'm not a good fighter. He's dead. Are you blind? Oh, oh. my eyes aren't what they used to be. You're a brave man. How you saved me. I knew the Baron would send someone. I didn't do this for the Baron. I did this for a friend. Is that so? Well, for whatever reason, thank you. You're welcome. We're going to Stuart now. I need a permit to go to Silverlake. Not so hasty. If I return without more documents, the Baron won't be particularly happy. Oh, this just gets better and better. What documents would they be and where are they? I couldn't tell you what sort of documents they are, but you should look in the cave below Ogtar's farm. The rebels wanted to bring them there. If I get the documents, should I bring them to you? No, just take them to Baron Renwick. A small sign of my favor. Then you'll be able to discuss your issues with him straight away. Hey, I've got a password for you. What? In the name of Renwick, surrender. You? What? Wrong password? I... You let me in the Rebels' hideout right now. Here's the key. Just spare my life. Get lost.
Stuart! Greetings! The people are thirsty! So, my dear landlord, here's the honey. Excellent! I'll get right to the vat! Hold on. Why? Oh, yes! Your reward! Here! I'd like to take a look at your goods. Hello there. No time. Ah, the little hero. What can I do for you? I need to see the Baron. No two ways about it. Renwick will most certainly be grateful to you. You did find Merman. Has he released Diego? Just a moment ago. I've already spoken with him. Really proud of you. Well, look here, Merman Savior. I know why you're here, but I cannot make any exceptions. We are in the middle of a war. I've got the documents that Hareton stole. Show me! Mm -hmm. You've truly done Stuart a huge favor. Perhaps I can make an exception. Here is a letter from Gilthor, the Castellan of Silver Lake Castle, and a permit. Thank you, Merman. Farewell. Wait! I cannot send a messenger to Gilthor in such scruffy garb! I have some suits.
suits of armor procured just for you. One of them should fit and take a decent shield. Mm. I had to slay her. My poor misguided brother, how tragic! Oh, this is all Lupin's fault! Why did Herten turn against me? You're his brother. I kept trying to steer him onto the right path. Herten didn't know what was best for Stuart. He was very stubborn and wasn't capable of making difficult decisions. What did Leuven do? She is a snake in my family, dominated by envy and her obsession with power. She turned her time against me. What are you going to do with Leuven? She may well be my sister, but she is evil. I've prepared a just punishment for her. She shall find peace in Beliar's realm. Can I be of assistance to you? Seems to me you've achieved your goals then. It's not about me. I care only for the well-being of the Baron and this city. You help Stuart, not I. What am I? I am but a withered leaf on the tree of time. You don't seem that withered to me. Don't allow your noble heart to doubt. The Baron, the city, and my humble self will remember you. When the time is right, perhaps you will find a place here. I have other plans. I need to be getting on. I know. We will surely hear of you. Farewell. Experiment. What? That boy is as thick as two short planks. Keep the cost out of him with my belt. Take it easy. I took care of the field raiders and ripped out their livers. Ken thought you might be able to use them. Hmm. Maybe he's not so stupid after all. You have to teach me something right away. Oh, yes, of course. Listen, I don't have the time now, but here's a valuable recipe. You can read, can't you? Yes, the recipe will do the trick. Hand it over. I'd like to take a look at...
Look at that. A steward got... Hello. How did it go? Renwick can now sleep soundly. Traitors have been punished. A terrible story. Have you seen Ricklin by any chance? No, I'm sorry. Well, at least he wasn't with the rebels. I'll keep looking for him. Valley of Blood is off limits. I've got a permit to get to Silver Lake. Here. The seal of the Baron. Very well, sir. But, good sir, you can pass, sir.
Who are you? Are you coming from the battle? No, from Stuart. I'm looking for Gilthor, the castellan of the Silver Lake Castle. You found him. I am Gilthor. The Baron of Stuart gave me a letter for you. Some news from Stuart. Finally. Here, now that I've delivered the letter to you, I'd like to ask you something. Sorry, stranger. Whatever it may be, it'll have to wait. Wait? But my issue is urgent. I believe you, but since the end of the battle, my hands have been full. We need to bury the dead and take care of the wounded. Maybe I could be of some help. We welcome any helping hand. I need to return to the castle and Doran still wandering over the battlefield. Doran? My Lord Standard Bearer. He refuses to take refuge in the castle. Bring him home, and then I might hear out your request. I'll see about Doran. Then, we will speak further. Where's the battlefield? Northeast from here, near the entrance of the Gorge of Thorniara. Simply follow the trader route. And your castle? Where can I find it? South from here. Simply follow the road leading southeast. What can I help you with, Master? Hey, you! Can you help me? How can I be of help? I come from the castle. Actually, I'm a traitor. But I also help treat the wounded and ill. I wanted to ask the rangers a favor, but where are they? Indeed. Not many around here. What were you going to ask them? We need healing nuts for the wounded. I need someone to hunt the boars in the southeast of the valley and cut the nuts out of their stomachs. What? The boars love these nuts, and the nuts have strong healing powers, but are poisonous to humans. The poison is neutralized in their stomachs, though, so we cut them out of the boars. I see. Look, help me out and I'll reward you. Half a dozen nuts will be fine. I'm going back to the castle now. See me there once you've got the nuts. What do you want? I need mushrooms for my experiments. Mushrooms? Experiments? What are you saying? I'll explain everything once I have the mushrooms. I'll reveal the secrets of alchemy to you. You'll be inducted. Speak then. What mushrooms do you seek? Deadly moles. Very rare salt. They need blood. Fresh blood. To grow. To flourish. Wait! There was a battle. Northeast of here, yes? Yes. Battle. There you will find the morals. When the blood of the fallen soaks the ground, the deadly morals drain life to sprout around. If you already know where they grow, go pick them yourself. Ugh. The goblins are everywhere. The little creatures won't let me through. Well, if I come across any of these bloody fungi of yours, I'll bring you some. The bloody fungi? Deadly morals. Deadly morals.
is it you're saying? You... you're a man, not a demon, right? That you've figured out well. Oh, Enos be praised! A human! I'm... I'm Killian. I... I, I was... the battle! Oh, Enos the battle! I want to go home! Then come with me, I'll take you to the castle. Come with you? Oh, oh, no, no, no way! Why don't you want to come with me? Because of... the demons. They... they've been roaming at the entrance, growling! Dark fur, sharp teeth, and blazing eyes. Slobber dripping from their lips. Bloody slobber! Calm down and come with me. There are no demons out there. No! No! I'm not going anywhere! I'll take care of the demons. Really? Will you do this? Are you really so brave? Yes, damn it! Let me guess. Do these demons of yours howl to the moon at night? That's what they do! It's some frightening demonic howl! There are no demons, they're wolves! Demon wolves? Oh, like dogs! That kind of wolves! I've cleared the wolves out of the area. Really? Trust me. Really. Good. Then I can return to the castle soon. Do so. Standard, maybe. A silver crest of Sitarif on a royal blue background. Let me guess. You must be Doran. Gilthor is worried about you. Gilthor? Does he want you to bring me back to the castle? Yeah. Forget it. I'm not going back without our Lord's standard. Never. Come on. There are other things Gilthor has on his mind right now. He's not upset about the loss of the standard. I... I'm not afraid of his wrath. What's the problem, then? If I return without the standard... I'll be dishonored. Forever! Very well. You know what? I'll help you. Where have you looked so far? I've combed the entire battlefield twice already. It must be buried under the dead and ashes around here. Maybe someone stole it. Now who'd do that? Goblins! Goblins? Yes. They finished off the wounded and looted the corpses. Only with the Castellan's footmen could we drive them away. Okay, keep looking here. I'll go and look for goblins. Where can I find the buggers? They live in caves east from here. Be careful, though. They have sharp teeth. 
Are you doing all right? What brings you to the land of death and sorrow, stranger? Death and sorrow are my true companions. And you? I'm Kraglan, Grand Master of the Rangers Guild. I am searching for survivors. It doesn't look too good. My people set a handsome award for their cause. If only I could find my nephew. Your nephew? His name is Killian. He's been missing since the battle. Your nephew, eh? I could help search for him. I came across Killian in a cave near the woodcutter's camp. He'd taken refuge there from the wolves, which he held for demons. Wolves? Demons? Is he okay? Don't worry. They were just wolves. They're dead now, anyway. And your nephew should have arrived at the castle by now. Oh, thank you, stranger. Thank you. My sister Semele's already started to worry about him. Here, take this. It isn't much, but it'll serve you well. What happened to your guild? The war took its toll. Lord Gowan had ordered my people into battle, but I didn't want that. We should have all fortified ourselves in the castle. Open battle was just plain suicide. What happened to your people? Some flew south, but the majority fell in battle. I'm afraid they're all dead. What do you know about the battle? The site itself tells a terrible story. The casualties on both sides were high. No sign of Lord Gowan or Lord Hagen. Stones everywhere. Then there's this head. What do you make of the head and all the stones? Well, as a ranger, I can read the landscape. The stones are part of a rockfall or a landslide, which must have interrupted the battle. But the head? This puzzles me. Has Hagen been using dark magic? Is it a demon's head? You think Hagen's using the Dark Arts? Who knows what lurks in a paladin's head? Who can say what sort of unholy alliances Robar has gotten himself into? Go to the battlefield and see what you can make of it. Greetings!
standard. Have you found it? I'm sure the goblins took it. Look, is this the one? My lord's standard! That's it! My honor is saved. Thank you, stranger. Thank you. Never mind. I'm off to the castle, and so are you, incidentally. Very well! See you at Silver Lake Castle! Damn fungi. Yes! Oh, splendid. <laughs> All I need now is a fresh skull. Take a good look at yourself. Yes. Yes, your head would make a perfect skull. How about a skull that isn't attached to my neck? Sure, bring me one from the battlefield, will you? Nice and fresh. Fresh! A skull? Like this one? Oh, yes. Yes, good boy. Nice skull. Nice, very nice. If I take a closer look... What then? Your skull is fresher. Nicer. I'll need it. That again? I'll have your hide instead, you loon. My head. Give me my head. Look here, a new face. Who are you? Baldrin. I used to work in the woodcutter's camp once, but that's all history now. Damn poor. But you were on the battlefield, weren't you? Only on the extreme edge. Even there, the ground is burnt down. What about the rest of the battlefield? I don't know. A landslide blocked the pass, buried half of the army. Gilthor wanted to clear the debris, but this big, creepy head... What about the head? Some enormous, hideous stone face. Nasty as a dog's ass. I swear it was watching me all the time. And something behind it scraped, 
clattered and made noise, but nobody answered our calls. Stuak armor. Hey. Hey. I need help. What is it? Our guild's emblem was a golden arrowhead. I hid it in a cave before the battle. And now? The damned goblins have made themselves at home here, including the cave where I hid it. Can you retrieve it for me? Goblins are slowly getting on my nerves. They've been breeding like rabbits since the war. You'll hardly find a cave without these damned creatures anymore. Even if you do, just be careful that nothing worse lurks in there. I'll bring you the golden arrowhead. Just tell me how to find the goblin cave. Close by, to the east. Is this the way to the castle? No. Simply follow the road to the south through the Gorge of the Penitents. Gorge of the Penitents? That's a funny name. Lord Gowan stews his prisoners in cages there until they start regretting their deeds. Not a place one would want to end up. Seems like your guild hasn't been in the best condition lately. The guild ceased to exist. Our Grand Master Kraglin is missing. Some of us fled west after the battle began. Most of them joined Lord Gowan in the war. So far, nobody's returned. I met Kraglin. He's alive. Really? Where is he? He's been looking for the survivors on the battlefield. Finally, some good news. Thanks.
to work at Armour? I don't want to sound pushy, but have you got the arrowhead? Here, the golden arrowhead. Splendid. That's it indeed. Maybe there's still hope for our guild after all. It'll be fine. I'd like to believe that. Hey. Hello. the gate no way stranger nobody enters without the castellan's permission i spoke with gilthor i was to bring doran back from the battlefield and so i have he's on his way now oh yes the castellan mentioned this forgive my being rude ever since lord gowan was imprisoned we've been very careful here what did you say lord gowan is imprisoned the lord of the castle haven't you heard orcs kidnapped him how did that happen? You should talk to Wellguard the blacksmith. He can tell you the whole story. Open the gate then. Of course. Get inside. What shall it be? Please don't forget about the healing nuts. The wounded here can't wait much longer. Got some nuts for you. Here, take them. Oh, thank you so much. Now we can prepare more healing salve. Wonderful. Sure thing. Can you use this recipe? I found it in the castle. Have you seen Gilthorpe? The Castellan is in the Citadel, upstairs by the fireplace. The archives should be in here. Archives? You mean the basement, perhaps? The one with loads of books? One may enter with the Baron's permission only. Whoa. What are you looking at, lad?
congratulations! Man. Oh, my shoulders. What do you want? What can you tell me about the battle? War is never beautiful. But what happened in the Valley of Blood? I've never seen anything like that. A disaster. A damned disaster! How did it turn out to be a disaster? Lord Hagen's troops were outnumbering us, and we were caught up in a rearguard battle. So far, so good. Not a big deal. But all of a sudden, stones started falling from the sky like huge raindrops, and there was an ice-cold wind. As if Beliar himself had belched from the mountain. Panic and chaos ensued. Everyone ran for their lives. Who caused the rockfall? Surely it was the paladins, playing with magic again. Still, their arrow flew in the wrong direction, for their casualties must have been higher than ours. You mentioned something about magic. Tell me about it. It was like this. One of the rocks had just shattered my shoulder and knocked me down. Then there was a sudden blow right next to me, and a huge skull crashed on the battlefield. The most hideous face. I staggered to my feet and just ran for it. What happened to Lord Garwin? Like I said, chaos reigned on the battlefield. Everyone ran for their lives. I haven't seen our Lord since then. Get lost! is getting scarce. It's you. Have you brought Duran back? I didn't take him by the hand, but I got the standard for him, and he promised to return to the castle. That's good news. So what was it you wanted to ask me? What can I do to thank you? I wish to browse the archives in your castle. Access to the archives is granted solely by Lord Gowan. Surely you know how to open a door. Without my lord's permission, my hands are tied. What now? You might already have heard that our lord's in an awkward position. The orcs captured him. Yes, I know. A poor joke. They overpowered him when he was returning from the battlefield, weak and wounded. We couldn't do anything to prevent it. If you help us free Lord Gowan... I've heard enough. Where are those orc bastards? They live in a cave, south from the castle. Either I return with Gowan, or you will never see me again. To pass the bridge to the orc's territory, you need a password for the watch, which is nothing is as gold as silver honor. One more thing. What can you tell me about the archive? How old is it? Old. Very old. Some of it is much older than the castle, which was built by Robar II. By Robar II? The last king of Matana? Yes. Lord Tronto reigned here at that time. We Setorifians put an end to that. Now Lord Gowan, the brother of Ethorin VI, rules from the castle. Could you attend to the wounded? Actually, I'm looking for Lord Garwin. 
Haven't you heard of the terrible events yet? Our lord was captured by the orcs. We're all very concerned. How can I help? There's a pond in the wilds beyond Silver Lake where pondweed grows. Should you happen to get near that place, get me a couple of bunches. I have no gold, but I could teach you a thing or two about potions. Okay, I'll keep my eyes open if I'm around there. Well, lad, do you like my work? Yes, I could learn a bit from you. Hmm, have a look around. Do you know how to use a hammer and anvil? I guess so. Really? Well, lad, I've got a task for you then. Fetch me my sketchbook, and I'll teach you a few tricks. I like your offer. Where can I find your book? South from the castle stands a watchtower. I liked sitting there, working on my drafts. But one day, some lousy orcs came and drove me away. By my anvil, a wretched bunch! And your book got lost. That's right, lad. Bring me the book, and I'll teach you higher blacksmith arts. I'll look for the book. You do that, lad. Good luck. shall pass. Go back. Nothing is as gold as silver armor. How do you? Oh well, you may pass, if you're crazy enough. Crazy enough? What's that supposed to mean? Well, I'd only set out south to fight a small army. It's really dangerous out there. I'm a small army myself, big head.
is Orc's land. Here, Shurok lives. Be gone. I'll go away again soon. I'm just looking for a book. A book? Oh, that. That's a nice thing. Good for dirty deals. Pleasant. Dirty deals? What kind of dirty deals? There are clean deals and dirty deals. The human book is good for dirty deals. Pretty smooth. Clean, dirty, either way is fine, isn't it? Give me the book or you'll learn about a red deal. No, oh, Shurak wants book. Then Shurak will get his ass kicked. What's all this? Take the thing, the book away with it. Leave me in peace. Why all the fuss then? Oh my God, this stinks to high heaven. It's inside. Gate closed. Open the gate. I need to speak with Erhag. Gate stays closed. Erhag inside, you outside. I'm in the middle.
Any idea why I shouldn't hit you in the face? No, but gate stays closed. Then I'll open the gate myself. Gate closed from inside. Footman Derek, open when I say so. How can I make Derek open the gate? Be nice to old Bosch. Bring Scaboos from Maylog. Scaboos? Maylog? I don't get any of this. Old Bosch say slow. Scaboos is booze. Maylog is shaman. Maylog makes Scaboos. Maylog not here. Old Bosch without Scaboos. I'll bring you the booze from Maylog and you'll tell Derek to open the gate, right? You smart. Very smart. You have orc blood. A bit. Orc blood my ass. Where's Maylog? Fled. Hiding. South. Look. Behind river. South where north isn't. Understand? I'll get your scarboos. an orc shaman? Do you brew scarboos? Two questions and two answers. Yes and yes. What do you want from me? Listen, I need some scarboos. Scarboos? <laughs> Why'd a human want that? Gilthor, the castellan of Silver Lake Castle, sends me. I'm to negotiate with Erhag about releasing Lord Garwin. Ogbosh won't let me into the orc camp unless I give him some scarboos. We orcs have a saying. You eat my lice, and I eat yours. Hmm? You want to get into the orc camp. Agbash wants Skaboos. You want Skaboos, and I want Eirig. Eirig? Yes, the chieftain's son. He's disappeared, and I'm worried. Fetch him here, and I'll fix the Skaboos for you. Any idea where I should be looking for Eric? I 
think he's been hiding from me. Why, I do not know. But I noticed smoke west of here. Well then, I'll see if I can find Eric. You speak our language pretty well. I'm a shaman. Before Erhad came, my tribe used to train a lot with the humans in the north. Why aren't you with your tribe? Because of Urhag. A vicious orc he is, without a soul. Erhag has no soul? Urhag is no true orc. He comes from the north, from the far north. He's obsessed with war and power. When did Erhag take over? He was our guest, a good hunter. But on Chieftain Morik's name day, he challenged him. He claimed Morik was old and weak. Challenge? Just like that? Every year a warrior may challenge a chieftain. But there is no honor in that duel. First, Erhag broke Morik's arms right before our eyes. Then his legs, and finally, Nick. I assume you usually don't fight to the death. The fight is over when one of the fighters surrenders. Not like this. Not like this. Eric, Morik's son, wanted to kill Urhag afterwards. So I hit him in the head. <laughs> then I threw him over my shoulder and walked away. I suppose you saved Eric's life this way? Maybe. Anyways, Eric shouldn't have attacked the Chieftain. It's a taboo. So the Chieftain is untouchable. Now I'm confused. So what was it with Morig then? No. Attacking a new Chieftain is a taboo for many moons. Yet now the time's come. Eric can finally challenge Urhag. He'll avenge his father. I understand. Erhag let you leave just like that? Yes. Those who are banished are taboo. Until they return. What are you going to do now? Erik is the son of Morik. He'll defeat Erhag and we'll be free! Or Grungara! Hello, my friend. People are my friends, my friend. Until they prove me wrong. I see. I'm on an errand for Guildford. What are you doing here? Waiting. For what? The road to Tushu and for. Well, that's a secret. You want to get to Tushu? Yes, I live not far from Tushu, in the marshland. Yet the rockfall blocked the passage, and well, now I'm stuck here. Can you tell me something about Tushu? Tushu is a holy tree. It's dedicated to all three gods. Mages of all sorts live there. Must be a bloody large tree then. Are you a mage too? No, Tushu is surrounded by black water, and black water is surrounded by a swamp. Uh, I live in the swamp. You live in the swamp? Not far from the swamp weed fields, my friend. 
Blackwater? What's that? A settlement. Even mages need to eat. Which is why Tushu has attracted hunters, collectors, and traders of all sorts. So, over time, Blackwater was established. Now, all sorts of folks live there. Blackwater? Sounds quite gloomy. Was it the mages who came up with the name? No, the inhabitants had a vote on that. In the marshland, people are still free. What's so special about swamp weed? It's medicine, my friend. Medicine good for the nerves. You're waiting for something mysterious? What's this mystery? Ah, a mysterious mystery, my friend. Right, I think I got it. Must be Eric. Eric is gone. Lost. Who are you then? Nobody. Nobody? Eric's body is here. But Eric is gone. Lost. Tell me more. Sherlock stole Eric's soul. Evil Sherlock. Shalog has stolen your soul. Is he a shaman? No. Sherlock beats Eric's body. Takes Eric's soul from the neck. Eric is lost. So Shalog took your soul from the neck? Yes. True orcs carry their names around necks. True orcs have souls. Do you mean an amulet? Amulet. With a soul. If Eric's body drags his ass to Malog's cabin, the guy standing here will bring Eric's soul back, promise. Promise? Good. Eric's body obeys. Eric's body is so empty. Where can I find Shalog? Far from Eric's body. Eric fled from Shalog back then. From air on swamp. Swamp? Shalog is in the swamp? In forest. Swamp is behind it. In the south, then? I'm not sure I've got you right. The amulets have names on them, thus their souls? Yes. Without a name, Eric is no longer Eric. Eric's name is Eric's soul. A body which has Eric's name is Eric's body. Malog is looking for you. Eric's body is hiding. Melog sees no Eric's empty body. Melog sees no Eric's shame.
you want? What does this human want here? I want Irig's soul. What human want with Irig's soul? It's none of your business. Just give it to me. No. Irig's body too weak for name. Deserves no soul. Is that so? That I claim Irig's soul because I'm stronger. Humans are weak. Orcs are strong. When human fights, or human leaves. I'm fighting. Defend yourself. Human will suffer greatly. You strong, I obey. Smart lad. Give me the amulet. Eric, his soul is not here. I hid it in a cave. Here's the push in and turn. A what? Push in and turn. Opens human chest. So there's a chest in the cave? Yes. Human chest with push in and turn. Where is the cave with the amulet? In the east, where trees give way to stone. Why by Beliar did you lock the amulet in the chest? Couldn't you just bury it like a decent orc? First I hang Irig's soul on large fat frog living in cave. Irig is stupid. He deserves stupid frog body. But Irig's name always falls off frog. So I lock Irig's soul in human chest and put it behind fat frog's back. Irig's body weak. He'll never defeat fat frog.
Here is your amulet. Myself, I myself, I'm Eric. Since it's written on the amulet, it must be so. You, I'm Eric, son of Morik. Yes, good for you. I, son of Morik, fights. Her heart dies. Not so fast. Son of Morik can wait until I've spoken with Malog. Why did Shalog steal your amulet? Shalog hates Morik. Shalog also wants to be the leader. But Morik is strong. Shalog loses. Shalog take revenge on Morik's son. I take revenge on Shalog. So Shalog steals my soul. What are you going to do now? Now that you've got the amulet back? Fight. Defeat Urhag. Become chieftain. What kind of chieftain do you want to be? A well, one like Morik was. We fish. We hunt. The tribe is happy. What are you going to do with Garwin? Garwin will be free. As free as bird. Returns to his tribe. Humans live in the castle. Orcs live in the caves, just as before. Everything is good. Will your tribe want you to become their chieftain? Yes. I'm the son of Morik. I be Urhag. I am free. And how are you? Strong. I have a bad feeling about this fight with Erhag. Eric is too weak. True. He still needs many, many wounds. Too many. Shalog will have to fight against Erhag. Shalog's going to lose. He is strong, but he's no warrior. I'll easily defeat him. Then, all is lost. The time has come for me to bury my name. Wait. I need to free Garwin somehow, and I doubt Arahag just lets him go when I ask him. What do you suggest? I'll challenge Arahag. You're no orc? How about Eric's amulet? If I put it on, then I'll become him. Yes. Then you'll be Eric. As far as I know, Arahag needs to accept the challenge. If he refuses to fight Eric, he stops being a chieftain. Give me the damn scaboos. Here you are. Before you leave, take what you find in my chest. You'll need it. All right. But first, I'll bring myself Eric's soul. Wait. What is it? Conceal Eric's soul. Reveal that you're Eric before you challenge Urhag. Why? Otherwise, Urhag will refuse to fight you. He doesn't believe in souls, but the orcs from Silver Lake do. If you challenge him as Eric, he needs to fight or he stops being a chieftain. All right. Good, I'm, I'm like an orc. Listen, Eric, I need your amulet. My, my amulet? Your soul. I keep my soul. I'm Eric. You know Eric. Give me your soul, and I'll fight Eric as you. I don't understand. You're Eric, right? Yes, I'm Eric. Why are you Eric? My name is written on my soul. Exactly. So when your soul hangs on this man's neck, you have a new body. You're going to fight better and defeat Erhag. I... Don't you want to avenge Morik? You're right. I'll carry your body. Erik? Erik is gone. Erik is you. And how are you, friend?
Here's your stinky brew. Not stinky! Yummy! Ah. Good. Now open the gate. Scaloos here and gate open! Uh, one moment. Derek! Funman Derek! Open the gate! Now! Is Garwin alive? Baron alive. Imprisoned, but alive. Darwin is imprisoned. He imprisoned Erhog. Now he's imprisoned. <laughs> the great Baron. Now a small man. Why do you help Erhag? Erhag is better than Silver Lake Tribe. He showed us how to fight. The tribe is stupid. Doesn't learn. I'm smart. I learn. What are Erhag's plans? Erhag makes the tribe rich. Now Baron is imprisoned. Soon tribe in the castle. Then the orcs rule. I cheat then, or Baron. What will happen to your tribe? All to castle. Warriors for Erhag. Strong warriors. Humans afraid of orcs live in caves like orcs. <laughs> Uchagala? You get in here, Mora. Eric challenges you to ritual combat. <laughs> Eric, this cowardly swine. He better come. I'd split his skull. I am Eric. This is my soul. Ah, soul. I don't give a shit about Eric's soul. But if you want to fight, Mora. Here I am. I...
Greetings! Another human? Tell me, stranger, did Gilthor send you? Yes, Gilthor sent me. I'm here to rescue you. Good man. Good, loyal Gilthor. Erek's dead. You're free. I'm deeply indebted to you, stranger. As soon as I return to the castle, you shall be generously rewarded. However, before that, I'd like to ask you a favor. What are you talking about? About my men. Zargash the Cruel, Erhag's right hand, recently sent them off to the mountains to cut down trees for orc fortifications. After the battle and the long time I spent in prison, I'm too weak to take up a fight with the orcs and save my men. Can you do this for me? Don't worry, and please, return to your castle. I'll take care of your men. Where are they? The road to the castle branches east to a small grove. You'll find them there. There is another problem. Zargash's mates are out there scouring the countryside with their lackeys. If they seize my men during the escape, they'll kill them. There are more of those nasty orc warriors, like Arag? Yes, they are from here. They come from Mirtana. The war brought them here. Be careful. Hargen or Shul are almost as dangerous as Erhag. Try to take them out one at a time. Harg and Urshul are dead. They were unfortunate enough to cross my path. Impressive. That's impressive indeed. dead. Your souls are saved. What a joy! I thank you! You're a hero! You're our leader! You must stay! Celebrate with us! With much kabooz! <laughs> Eric's your leader and that's also good. Skabooz isn't my thing really, but I, I wish you lots of fun. Bosch, Erhag is dead. Erhag is dead.
miracle. Adano sends you, stranger. Lord Garwin sends me. Lord Garwin, is he doing well? Yes. You could have joined the fight quite easily. Me. You're right, stranger. The orcs squashed our spirit. Well, unsquash it and trudge back to the castle. Should I attend to you? No, stranger. We've embarrassed ourselves enough already. It's about time we learn how to walk tall again. Oh, congratulations! Keep moving. Have you got my sketchbook? Yes, but I'm not responsible for its condition. Oh, by my anvil! What's that smell? What happened, lad? You wouldn't want to know, believe me. Is it useless? Let's see. Oh, what a shame. Most of it is lost. Ah, but here. I can teach you this. Let's do it, but you better hurry. Well, guard, old war horse. How's it going? Our lord's return to the castle has been praised. I hope that story's taught him a lesson. Orcs and magic need to be kept apart. Greetings, young man. Have you got the pondweed? 
fresh delivery of pondweed. Let me see. Yes, that's it. Our wounded will rejoice. So give it to them. Thank you. Here, I copied this recipe for you. It's my mother's traditional brew. Thank you, thank you. Garwin is safe now. I've heard about it. We're all so happy that our lord is unharmed. His pride, however, may have suffered a little. <laughs> He'll live. Have you rescued my men? Your men are on their way home. Adana sent you. A knight in shining armor. I'm glad to help, but I require your assistance as well. All of Argan is in your debt. You have a wish? Speak freely. I'll comply. I'm looking for a lost temple, and I've heard there are old maps in the castle's archives. Maybe I can find a clue to the temple's location there. You want to visit our archives? What a wise and humble wish for a man your age. Then it's granted. Simply go to the castle cell. There you'll find the entrance to the archives. Here's the key. Thank you. I thank you. Come to me again after you've visited the archives. I'll be anxious to know if we've helped you at all. Greetings! Have you been to our archives yet? No, but it's certainly a priority. Respect.
What role did you play in this? But a small one. Airhag just ticked me off. Did you kill him? Oh, very well. Glad to hear that. A truly great deed. Greetings! Ah, you're back. Have you found anything helpful in your search for the temple? I found an old map indicating the temple's exact location on White Eye Mountain. However, there's no clue on the map how to reach the temple. Well, maybe I can help you. A few weeks ago, two mages paid me a visit who were trying to get to the same place. Who were these mages? Alas, I don't remember their names. But they were on a mission from the Brotherhood. You'd better ask in Tushu who they were. I'm off to Tushu then. Yes, I thought you'd do that. That's why I ordered Gilthor to hang on to this scroll. Know this. The road to Tushu was blocked by a rock avalanche during the earthquake. The scroll here holds a spell for moving the rocks. I wanted to use it to clear the road to Tushu. But now I give it to you. Stranger, listen to me. What is it? I protect this place. Before anybody helps you in here, you need to prove to me that you're ready to do something for Blackwater. Those are the rules. Who lays down such rules? I do. All right. What do you want me to do? The lurkers around here have been a constant nuisance. Destroy their nests and bring me their eggs as proof. 
You can find me in the Swamp Lily. Just head for the largest hut in the settlement. Where can I find lurker nests? Northeast of Tushu, there should be at least half a dozen of their nests. Look around there. What's going on in Blackwater? We'll prattle later. First, you have work to do. Things, mate. Hey, boss, do me a favor, eh? Why should I do that? I'll make you rich, says a man coughing in the swamp. Don't deceive yourself, eh? Find my bag. You'll see then. Why should I look for your bag? You can keep it, boss. A valuable bag with gold ornaments and stuff, ain't it? I'll get its contents. I'm more interested in its contents. A purely person. Completely worthless to you. You want a bag? You mean something like this? Excellent, boss. The contents for me, the bag for you, right? Nice bag with golden ornaments. 
Even your name is marked inside it. So you're Boran. Bo Boran? This can't be! Then I'll have to ask Boran myself. Boss, boss, that's not necessary. A new recruit again? What is your business here? I'm looking for two mages. They were doing research on some ancient temple at the Silver Lake Castle Archives. Such issues are managed by the Grand Master Medarian. And I'd like to speak with the Grand Master. The Grand Master of Water is... busy. Without my permission, no one can disturb the Grand Master. I'd like to be granted your permission to be allowed to speak with the Grand Master. Ha! Huh. You are not the first one in here. For a start, make yourself useful and go down to the basement vault. Here, just near the entrance, where the roots come out from the ground. Make Volta's promise to cease casting combat spells inside the tree. Then we shall see. Tell him the next bang I hear, he is going into the swamp! And then you'll let me see Murdarian? Maybe. Is Voltus a troublemaker? His experiments are dangerous. It is outrageous that the Council tolerates him inside the Holy Tree. Seeing that Voltus is so dangerous, why is he still here? Allegedly, he is a genius. Insane, more like. Insane? How come? He researches a new magic? <laughs> Provided it existed, would not the gods have bestowed it on our ancestors? So you think Voltus is offending the gods? What Voltus is doing is fundamentally wrong. If the Council does not put a stop to his activities, then I am going to. The Council? Are they the leaders here? So to speak. The three Grand Masters of the Brotherhood embody fire, water, and darkness. Tell me more about the Grand Master of Fire. Grand Master Milton is an exceptionally gifted fire mage. Some claim he is the most powerful mage in the world. His heart belongs to knowledge. It was his idea to open the Holy Tree for all the mages, regardless of the path they had chosen. Many do not trust him, since he used to be friends with the King of Mutana. But the Grand Master will not allow himself to be led astray. What do you know about the Grand Master of Water? Grand Master Murdarian does not talk much about his past. Rumor has it that together with Grand Master Ningal, they fled for Morasol back in the day. As if there was something two powerful magicians would have to fear. Grand Master Murdarian has a vivid interest in the old ruins of Argan and leads numerous expeditions there. Who's the Grand Master of Darkness? Grand Master Ningal. He is a very silent man. All I know of him is that you had better exercise caution when in his presence. Why? Does he kill the people he dislikes? I have told you too much already. Yes, your name's written inside. Someone stole it from me. Was it you? Me? No. I found it in the swamp. How much will you pay me if I return it to you? I'll give you gold for it. What do you have to offer?
Good. Bag is yours. <laughs> Let's take a look. Hey! It's empty! You can forget about gold. We agreed on gold for the bag. You got the bag, give me the gold. Wait, wait! I'll pay you double if you bring me its contents. What was in the bag? Nordmar Nogginfar. Very fine liquor. In high demand here in the swamp. I'll attain the Nordmar Nogginfog for you. so stupid as to tinker with the mage's instruments. Smart man. Let me guess. The hag sent you. Gilana sent me. I'm to inform you that you'll land in the swamp after the next explosion goes off. No worries. The experiment's finished. What? My mission is over? No, no favors? No fighting? Oh, great. And I'm off to see Grandmaster Merdarian. Merdarian? <laughs> Gilana won't allow it. She'll simply worm favors one after another. That's all. Why am I not surprised? I can help you become a member of Tushu. Gear and stuff. But I need something in return. Payment, in fact. Interested? What do you need? A straw hat. The orcs forestalled me. I need it by all means. A hat. Are you all trying to waste my time? Well, what did you expect? A princess? If you don't want gold, I'll find another sucker. You sure know how to sweeten a deal. <laughs> you need me. The Hag won't let you through to Merdarian. I'll help you and bring the straw hat. Where can I find it? Small ruins. Several castaway orcs squat there. You head south to the bridge and then follow the torches southwest. Why is this straw hat so important? Oh, you'll see. <laughs> What's this thing near the water? A pump. It keeps the caves dry. Well, drier than the swamp. Damn muck keeps oozing through the ceiling. Has Gilana set her mind on you? The hag understands nothing about magic. Unlike me. So she's some kind of a witch. I was surprised to see a woman among the mages. Oh, she's a mage, but she's not much of a researcher. Knows nothing new, does nothing new. No, she shouldn't even really be here. Kilana is a female mage. Aren't the gods enraged? You're not from here, are you? There have been female mages in Satara for hundreds of years. Maybe Kilana is the punishment from the gods? <laughs> are you a researcher? I am. Magic is mutable. I'll create something new and show those old coots up there. New magic? Magic has changed over the last few years. And there must be a reason. I'm going to turn everything those fools believe upside down.
What did that toad tell you? Voltus will no longer disturb you. Me? Well, anyway, he has been suspicious and quiet now. Does that mean you'll let me see Mordarian? No. Only members of the Brotherhood of Tushu are allowed to speak with the Grand Master. You played me! No. But it is in my power to admit you to our circle when you prove your worthiness. What do you want from me? Someone was conducting experiments on the snappers in the swamp. One snapper managed to escape wearing a magic collar which could discredit its owner. I understand. So I should secretly eliminate the snapper and the collar? Not quite. What happens to the animal is all the same to me. Bring the collar to me, though. I'll reward you for your troubles. I'll obtain the collar for you. Just tell me where I can find the snapper. According to my apprentice, it is hiding in a dripstone cave north of the goblin caves in the western part of the swamp. Presumably, other beasts dwell there, too. But you look strong enough. What if I'm not? It would not be a significant loss to Tushu. What's a snapper? It is a large lizard on two feet. Fast, strong, and bloodthirsty. The specimen you are looking for is especially vicious. Give me the Nordmar Nagenfog now! What? Are you mad? You stole the Nordmar Nagenfog from Boren. Hand it over. The boss! Oh, we had a deal! Should I tell the Boris about it? You won't do that, you swine! I'll, I'll kill you! Just you wait. Mercy, mercy! Let's speak of the muck pocket again. I'm sorry, boss. Really. Here are the balls. Well then, we're done. Can you tell me about this dump? You should speak with Laboris first. Any stranger needs to report to him. Sell me a drink of water at least. Sorry. Even trade is prohibited. Here are the eggs. Satisfied? This is not about me. It's about the good of Blackwater. And you, my friend, have proved that you too have its best interests at heart. Can we speak now? Now we can speak. What do you want to know? What is it that you do here? I came to Blackwater a long time ago, and the place fascinated me right from the start. 
It was here I found peace, my past fading away. The bad dreams stopped, and I knew right away that I had to stay here. What happened in your past? A long story. Just know this. I used to be a paladin. I fought many battles. I deeply regret that today. Now I do my best to do good. And Blackwater's in need of my help. Paladins murdered my family. What can you tell me about them? You see what I mean, then. The Paladins' zeal and intolerance are getting worse. Robar leads them in the wrong direction. I'm sorry for what happened to your family. Does Blackwater want your help? I feel obliged to help these poor people. They take each day as it comes, without morals or community spirit. I'm doing my best to maintain order and safety, but that's not something everybody understands. People around here learn so slowly. What do you do if someone doesn't want to learn? Then they need to leave. A rotten apple spoils the barrel. Believe me, I can recognize rotten apples. I test people, strangers in particular. What do you do if someone doesn't want to leave voluntarily? Oh, I detest violence. Violence used to be a driving force of my life. It makes one blind. But when I'm overpowered by my just wrath, then woe betide the one it falls upon. I won't have any immorality or malice in Blackwater. Mark my words. So how do you feel about the mages? They don't appreciate what I do for Blackwater. They should speak to me, but they ignore me. I could do a lot for them and their tree. I'd support them and protect them. at all? Is this something you know a thing or two about? Uh, it's just a sideline. But before I teach you anything, I need a small service in return. Nothing's free, I guess. What do you need? My joints are troubling me again. It's the blasted humidity here in the swamp. I know a recipe for an ointment, which might help, but I need a dozen lurking swamp spider webs. Bring me the cobwebs and I'll show you how to brew two useful potions. I'll gladly help you for a couple of recipes. Where can I find these lurking swamp spiders? They live on the banks of ponds and sloughs. Are they dangerous? No, sweetie. They're tiny little spiders. However, they spin very large webs. Take a look around. If I find any cobwebs, I'll bring them to you. I like to look at your goods.
An adventurer. A fellow just like me. Welcome. Are you talking to me? Yeah. Listen, I came here before the war to find a legendary artifact. And? Have you found it? <laughs> no. I found swamp fever instead. I've been lying flat on my back for weeks now, but I need that artifact. Well, what is it? A legendary water chalice. It would look great in my collection. What's in it for me if I find this chalice for you? I'd teach you how to make it a useful amulet. <coughs> yeah? Is this something you know how to do? Years ago, a blacksmith in Corinus taught me the technique. Okay. So what can you tell me about this chalice? The famous mage Vatris found it on one of his expeditions. <coughs> he called it the Water Chalice and sent his apprentice to Tushu with it. The chalice was supposed to be examined. What happened to the chalice? It was lost. Vatris's apprentice never reached Tushu. I wanted to follow his trail, but the fever... <coughs> Where should I look for the Water Chalice? A tracker I spoke to claimed the apprentice's trail disappears at a goblin cave west of Blackwater. He didn't trust himself to go inside.
Adventure. I found the water chalice. Here you are. I can't believe it. The legendary water chalice. Take this as a sign of my gratitude. The food is getting scarce. you the funny collar and let me through to Madarian at last. Not so fast. First you shall help me scare Voltus off for good. Should I beat him up a bit? How rude. No. You shall go to the ruins south of the marshland and figure out how the elemental shrine really works. Why should I? With enough rain, the basement vault in which Voltus works will be flooded once and for all, and peace shall return to Tushu. Okay, now tell me the whole truth. Something's not right with the shrine. I might. 
missed a detail or two. That's what I thought. Which god is the shrine devoted to? All three. There is a relic from ancient times. A figure of a maiden with a cleaved head. Apparently, she is some forgotten servant of the gods. Her head's cleaved? Perhaps she has two heads. Maybe she even used to have three. The level of weathering does not allow for drawing precise conclusions. If it's impossible to change the weather, why should I even bother to look for this shrine? When we discovered it, the statue literally glowed with mana. After Voltus botched things up, it lost all magic. It is ordinary as dirt now. Next day, we wanted to charge it by carrying out a weather ritual. But the statue was gone. Gone? Where did it go? Well, Grandmaster Ningal and his men went into the ruins behind the statue. When they came out again, his men were white as ghosts. Since then, we have been forbidden to go near the ruins. I suspect some sort of sinister entity guards the ruins and tries to keep strangers away from the statue. And you want to disregard the Grandmaster's orders? The restraint applies only to the Brotherhood of Tushu. You are not a member yet. However, once you locate the statue and conjure rainfall, this could all change. Didn't you say the statue was depleted? It could have regenerated in the meantime. If not, I shall deal with it. Have you got my Nordmar Nogginfog? Here's your Nordmar Nogginfog. Well done! Here's your gold. following me? I need to handle something for the mages. Me too. Come on, help me with the statue. What's wrong with the statue? Several pieces are missing. I guess the orcs scattered them about. Parts could also be in the runes. In that unholy place? No orc dares enter it. Keep looking outside. 
I'll check in the runes. Damn, you're stubborn. After I return with the missing parts, you'll put together the statue. Deal. And vice versa. Did you get cold feet? No. Found anything? No. I did. Have fun putting the parts back together. Damn. Bring it here. Uh, one more thing. Since I found all the missing parts, I'm going to select the weather. Maybe. What do you have in mind? Rain. Cold, damp and dark. Wrong answer. We'll make the sun. We'll see about that. Oh? So you're one of those strong fellows? Well, if you defeat me in a duel, I'll let you summon rain. You? But you aren't a... I couldn't... But, but wouldn't it be... No fear. I'll try to restrain myself. Fight! Trouble is in the air. that I like you. Otherwise you'd be dead now. Hey, I've already kicked your ass, remember? Hmm. Assemble the statue already. All right, all right. You win. Long has it been since a mortal has prayed at my shrine. Fog. Rain, what is it you desire? May Belial send rain upon us. But let him not overdo the lightning. You may decide only once and no more. Are you certain of your choice? I want rain! So it shall be. The thing with the rain? It's nothing personal. I'll mark your words. fellow is good. Voltus's din is flooded. Bad for Voltus. It gets better. Thanks to the collar you obtained for me, I proved to the council that Voltus was doing magical research on mind control. And that is strictly forbidden. 
Council had no other choice but to confiscate all his arcana. Components, grimoires, everything! So the cola belonged to Voltus? Oh, yes. His arcane signature's unmistakable. I guess he's finished now. Now he's staying outside, among the unwashed. Good job. Very well done. Does it mean you'll let me see Magdarian finally? As an exception. Here is a seal of Tushu. Show it to Calamus, and he will admit you to the inner circle. Right above the sanctum, you will find the Grand Master of Water. Right. Wait. The seal proves you are a member of the Brotherhood of Tushu. And we do not like our brothers to wander about begging. Just pick out some fitting clothes for yourself. And I can't say no. Let me into the sanctuary. I need to speak with Mardarian. How did you manage to convince Jilana? Mm, no, never mind. I don't want to know anyway. Come in. Madari, I am he. What brings you to me, stranger? I need to know which mages visited the Silver Lake Castle archives several days ago. Why do you need to know that? I hope they could tell me more about an ancient temple located in the mountains. On a map I found in the castle's archives, the temple is marked but with no clear way leading to it. Your thirst for knowledge is praiseworthy. Let me think. Yes, I recall. Icarius requested some research funds for Silver Lake. Icarius? What about the other mage? Which other mage? Icarius traveled to Silver Lake alone. I'm still awaiting a report. 
he was really unaccompanied. Correct. But since you mentioned it, the funds he requested were rather high. Enough for two. What's this about? I don't know. Not yet. Where can I find Icarius? He shares the quarters with a librarian. Calamus will surely tell you where Icarus can be found. Why don't you put an end to the conflict between Bultus and Gilana? Ah, what an interesting subject. Both of them keep trying to surpass one another. In doing so, they rise above themselves. They're essential to each other. What about the people who get involved in their conflict? We advise exercising leniency. However, should Tushu be sincerely affected by this, we shall intervene, of course. Greetings. Welcome to the Sanctum, brother. What brings you to us? Knowledge. I'm looking for knowledge. As we all are. This is the place to be. I heard you were friends with Robar the Third. You heard right. It has been painful abandoning him in his time of need. He's a tormented soul, carrying a heavy burden on his shoulders. He had good intentions but I can no longer take responsibility for standing by his side. How come? What happened? It wouldn't be right to tell you about this. Forgive me. Who disturbs me? I have questions. I have no time for neophytes. Are you insulting me? Leave. Are you always so sulky? I'll have to have a serious word with Gelana. Do I look as if I had time to spare? Nicarius. No, Sensei. Well, he hid himself away in our booth. Maybe he's still there. What do you want from Macarius? That's solely Medarian's and my concern. Murdarian? Oh, dear. Here, a key to our booth. I'll stay away. Where's your booth? Last on the left, on the way to the Sanctum.
dead. He's dead. By the look of it, for quite some time already, he's been cold a while. Oh, God. It, it wasn't my intention. What was it your intention? I thought he said he just wanted... Oh, I believed him. Who did you believe? The man with an eye patch. I thought he was just a thief. You let a thief into the tree? There's nothing valuable up here, just a couple of scrolls. He offered a precious book in exchange. Bartho of Laren's Dark Scriptures, a genuine rarity. I thought I'd humbug him. If he left with a few summoning spells, it would be nothing. This wretch you let inside must have murdered Icarius. Question is, why? Did Icarius have enemies? No, no, he was a quiet and friendly person. Icarius' death must be connected with the temple. What temple? Icarius and some other mage visited the archives of Silver Lake Castle. Whoever the other mage is, he's in mortal danger now. We sent only Icarius to the archives, that's what I know. However, his friend Lester was with him. Lester? Yes, an odd fellow. Calls everyone my friend. I need to hurry. He might be dead already. Where will I find Lester? He lives in a hut in the swamp. Behind the swamp weed field, southeast from here. Well, I need to hurry. Oh, I see now. Uh, wait! What? He took the scrolls of summoning spells. I kept them in my room to catalog them. What can he summon with them? Golems. Any number. Golems. Do you have those cobwebs? Listen, Mrs. I can't work miracles, but I'll find some, okay? The hat? Here's your hat. Oh, it's not mine. <laughs> uh, but the gold is yours. Take it. Nothing personal, Voltus. I needed to see Mardarian. You'd have achieved that with me and even more. Bugger off! Carius is dead. <laughs> Idiot. I fell from the tree. He was murdered. He, he had no enemies. Hey! Later!
What are you doing in here? I'm looking for Lester. Where is he? Good question. We were to meet here for a chat about the old times. I'm worried. He's late. Much too late. This place looks like a battlefield. Yes. Although Lester's never been particularly tidy, this here looks definitely like a battlefield. He could have been abducted. Or murdered. Murdered? Yes, like Icarius. Icarius is dead? As dead as a man with a knife sticking out of his chest can be. Why would anyone want to murder Icarius? And Lester? I think it's about the ancient temple they were researching in the Silver Lake Castle archives. Why would anyone murder Icarius and Lester because of some ancient temple? It doesn't make any sense at all. Lord Hagen sent his spies to search for the temple. Something to do with some divine anvil there. Hagen? Then it's serious. We... We shouldn't waste any more time. We need to find Lester. If Lester's alive, maybe he's left some trail. Clothes, buttons, breadcrumbs. Swamp weed. Swamp weed? Swamp weed. Lester always has some swamp weed on him. I'm going to need your help. I'm all ears. I'll cast a spell. If Lester thought to leave a trail of swamp weed for me, my spell will make it glow. You can then follow it and rescue Lester. Me? Aren't you coming with me? No, I'm afraid not. I need to stay near the swamp weed fields in order to remain focused on its essence. Otherwise, the spell fails. Good. Well, I'm going alone. Lester's fate lies in your hands. May Enos guide you.
It, my name is... The Word Speaks. Your arrogance will be your last. Magrock, kill him! Have a go, Magrock. Come on! Are you, my friend? And how are you, my friend? Lester, are you all right? Yes, I'm in one piece, my friend. I owe you my life. How did you find me? Milton helped me. Milton? Oh, where is he? Near your hut. He... I need to go to him now. Wait. Tell me what you know about the temple in the mountains. Funny! <laughs> a demonic woman and her orcs also wanted to know that. I kept my mouth shut, but, well, I owe you. <clears throat> well, uh, a long, long time ago... Oh, not the whole story. I'd only like to know how to get there. Where is the entrance? Unfortunately, I couldn't find it. However, I discovered something else. What? That, my friend, I'll tell you only when I learn why you're interested in the temple. So, why are you looking for the ancient temple in the mountains, eh? A friend of mine asked me to search for the temple. His name's Diego. Diego? So he's looking for the temple as well. Ah, that's good. That's very good, my friend. Does it mean you'll help me? Yes, I will. Just tell me, what have you learnt? On the cliff, east from here, stands a solitary old monastery. The monks living there are devoted to the cult of Enos and Beliar, and they appear to be connected to the temple in some mysterious way. If anybody knows how to reach the temple, it's them. How do I get to the monastery? Can you see the door with the statues? Behind you, you'll find an old road connecting the marshland with the monastery. The monastery lies east of here, over a natural stone bridge. The orcs pressed against the statue, and then the door opened. Let's talk later, my friend.
Welcome, my friend. We've been awaiting you. You know me? No. Look, I'm searching for an ancient temple in the mountains. Anyone visiting our monastery is searching for the temple. Would it be too much to ask you to tell me straight out how I can get there? Only the abbots Gallimard and Hendor know the secret of the temple. Well then, who do I have to kill to speak with the abbots? You need to prove yourself worthy before Enos as well as Beliar. Enos demands valor. Another stranger came here and attempted only Beliar's trial. Another stranger was here? A man with an eye patch. He refused to take on the trials and attempted to get to the abbots in a devious way. Beliar blessed him for this. The rage of Enos, however, drove him away. He had an eye patch? Did he learn something about the temple? Only the abbots know that. All right, I understand. What should I do? The guardians of the monastery have awoken and are venting their holy anger in the courtyard. Enos rewards heroism. Go and destroy the guardians of the monastery with my blessing. Well then, I'll sweep these statue guardians away, but I want some answers afterwards. The people who are constantly giving meaningless and context-free speeches are getting on your nerves too. is peerless. You're a worthy contender of the order. Then let me through to the abbots. No. You have only passed the first trial. Now you must prove your worth to Beliar. Another trial? What madness is this? Without Beliar's blessing, the wisdom of the abbots shall remain beyond your grasp. Say, what truth proclaimed the first Beliar disciple after his enlightenment? How should I know that? You are already enlightened. Only you do not know yet that you know. Well then, we will all die? No. Perhaps death is a release. No. How about chaos is freedom? No. Where are the children? No. I've got it. Evil always wins. No. Just stop wasting my time. Let me see the abbots. No. I warn you, I'm running out of patience. First, the trial. Monk or not, I'll shut your mug soon. Idle threats. 
I warned you. Defend yourself! Tell me, my son, was that the deed of a righteous man? There's no righteousness, only power. Yes. They were the words of the first disciple. Beliar enlightened you too. You passed. Ugh, just lead me to the abbots. They are waiting for you in the largest of our monastery buildings. Our sanctuary. Welcome, my son. We've been waiting for you for a long time. Why didn't you let me through right away? Only those so fated can hold the truth. I hold you to be such. But what's with my brother Galamod? Does he find you worthy? I don't care. I'm here to ask you about the way to the ancient temple. Only the Chosen may set foot in the temple. You have my blessing. Does my brother Galamod wish to add anything? He wasn't worthy. But why care? He'll die anyway. Die? It's not my intention, thanks. <laughs> Advice from me to you, my son. Fall off the cliffs. It'll shorten your pain. You'd better tell me how to enter the temple. Impatient, eh? Before I reveal the way to the temple, I want to know why you're looking for it. I want to prevent the paladins from acquiring the divine anvil from the temple. Why? Those pigs murdered my friends. You speak the truth, but your motives are wrong. Wrong? <laughs> yes, wrong. Go to the temple. It'll broaden your tiny mind. Just tell me at last how I get to the temple. The gate to the temple lies deep in the jungle, behind our monastery. Once the royal family of Setarev trod this path to pay homage to the goddess. The goddess? Aren't you a priest of Enos? Everything is one for the purpose of the goddess, my son. You'll see. As you wish. How do I find the path to the temple? I will show it directly to your inner eye. Are you ready? I am ready to enter the temple. So be it. The way is open for you. May the goddess enlighten you. Once more for your enlightenment. In the old days, the goddess had two groups of servants. The Anbeel and the Anusiri. They served the goddess in unity, until one day their vision for the future deviated from each other. The cult broke, and the servants of the goddess battled each other. Selina escaped, but she was the only Anasiri who escaped on this night. But no, the Anbeel also had heavy losses.
chosen one. A stranger. Here! Yeah. You're not going through the Black Gorges, are you? Why not? What about them? They used to be dangerous, even before now. The Fire Lizards aren't too bad, but... But what? Last time I was in the Black Gorges, the earth under my feet began to see. All of a sudden, I was surrounded by the Walking Dead. I barely managed to escape, but I lost my bundle. Bundle? What bundle? Vegetable seeds. Find some. The seeds are very important to Jabba. Jabba? He's a hermit. Lives in the jungle. If you don't mind the wild animals, he's easy to find. Look for a clearing in the northwest of the jungle. Well, I'll keep an eye out for this bundle of yours. If you run past the first fork and keep to the left, you should find it.
Hey, what's happening? Ah, the beasts! The beasts! I'm dead. The beast ate you. My fault. All my fault. My knife in your leg. A knife? Don't you get any ideas? You want to wreak vengeance, don't you? That's why you returned from Belios realm. Don't you understand? I had no choice. You or me. You or me. You or me. You or me.
an adventurer! Just what we need! What is it? Dead and cold out of the sea! We're safe on this holy ground, but we're stuck here. Dead from the sea? The storm was tainted by dark forces. Now it nurtures the dead and invigorates them. What kind of dark forces? The source of the evil must lie hidden somewhere between shipwrecks. I can feel it. Let me guess. Now it's time for checking wreckage and fighting, right? As a matter of fact, yes. Yeah. I'll see what I can do around the beach. That would be a blessing, stranger. If you find anything suspicious, bring it to us. Maybe we can cleanse it and break the unholy spell. You, my lord, I beseech you, let me serve you, even in death. Serve you in death? The priest of Enos, are you? Who? You aren't him! How did you manage to get past my servants? Something's fishy here. Who are you? You are not Ruheg, and you are not him. I owe you no answers. Who is Drohang? Speak! My lord and master. But even he serves a higher one. You are no priest of Enos. <laughs> what is it you're clasping in your hands? Show me! No. No! 
You found something. I can feel it. I found a dying priest of Enos in a wreck. He had this. Adonis, help us! No priest of Enos would ever touch that! That's what I thought. It's a statue of Beliar, isn't it? Quick, put it on the shrine. We need to destroy it. A stranger. Here? Greetings! Well done, stranger. There shouldn't be any more undead crawling out of the sea. As soon as you clear the beach, we are free! Undead? They're history already. You can go to the beach now. Excellent! Here, please take this as a reward. You saved us from a gruesome end in the jungle! Are you heading back to Satarif now? Yes. But first I'll have a look at this false Enos priest.
by Adonis's golden balls. Have you crossed the jungle by any chance? Yeah, piece of cake. The town back there, Sitarif, right? Sitarif, the Pearl of Argan. Well, at least it used to be. Now Lee and the Paladins have turned it into smoking ruins. What are you doing here? King Ethorn the Sixth kicked us out of the city. The assholes in the tower over there have barred the gate. How come? The king didn't want any useless mouths to feed. We were supposed to seek refuge in the monastery, but the jungle is teeming with vicious beasts. We even had a troll in the camp once. Good thing it left once it started to glow in the west. I think it's lurking around there now. What's that glow in the west? Damn if I knew! But this does not bode well. A madman came through here not long ago. Wanted to take a look. I'll bet the trolls got him. Or worse. This madman, did he wear an eye patch? That he did, stranger. What's wrong? Does he owe you some gold? No, a whole lot more. Are you a trader? Well, I've got a thing or two I could sell you. Will you let me through to Satari? I hate paladins, and I can fight. No access to pedestrians, sir. I'm sorry, but that's the rule. Don't you understand? I want to help. Let me in. I can't. Access is forbidden. Bite me. Physical contact is strictly forbidden by the regulations, sir. Just passing through here, eh? And here comes another one. Oh, where am I to hide? Here, a bundle full of vegetable seeds. Oh, good, good, good. I have gold, but you need to wait a while. Wait! Wait? What for? I swallowed it because of the thieves. It won't take long and you'll get your gold. No, no. Just keep it. Oh, you're one of those philanthropists, eh? Something special for you then. Here. Thank you. Where did you hide this? In. Wait. Rather not know. As you wish. As you wish. What is it? I got myself a watchdog recently for my vegetables. But he isn't very well behaved. In fact, he's a real brute. A watchdog? Here? Yeah, yeah. I lured him out of a cave. He doesn't let anyone near my hut, me included, unfortunately. And here comes another one? Who else was here before me? First the traders from Ceterif came and wanted to steal my gold. <laughs> but I showed them. I chased them away. Yes, I sure did. I was hardly done with him, when yet another one stood to my threshold. However, he wasn't the man to try for it. Who? What did he look like? His boots were dirty. Just barged into my hut and started grabbing everything. For a fellow with just one eye, he could scowl pretty nasty. He wore an eye patch? Yes. Yes, he did. The man with the eye patch, where did he go? He took flight when I told him it's impossible to continue further north from here. <laughs> where did he go? Back south along the mountain. Probably through the ruins. <laughs> He's dead by now. Wild beasts prowl there. Well then, I guess I can get rid of the dog for you. Great! I'll take care of your reward in the meantime. Where's the herbarium? Near my hut. Just a little bit north of here. I'll be right back. No matter how big, the dog is no problem for me.
Like just passing through here, eh? And? Did you teach the dog a lesson? What bloody dog? That thing was a shadow beast. Oh, is that what they're called? So, can I return to my hut? The creature's dead, but it's a miracle it didn't eat you. Nah, I don't taste that good. A huge lizard gobbled me up once. God's had thinking puke. Oh, that I can believe. And my reward? Yes, of course. Here, here. At last. I almost thought the Shadow Beasts had devoured you. What are you talking about? Do I know you? No, no. But I know you're a friend of Diego. And I know exactly who your master is. Yes, I know that you know. Look, we could play this game all day, but it doesn't change anything. You can't enter the temple without me. Oh yeah? And why shouldn't I stomp you into the ground right here and now? You see the stone block with the chains? It's the bridge to the temple. We need to trigger its mechanism simultaneously. See? There's one path to each lever. One is full of traps, the other is full of acid. All right, all right, fine. Which path do you want? You choose. They're both easy for me. I'll take care of the fireballs. A half-blind guy like you succeeds in something like this by pure luck. Half-blind I may be, but I already have the key and have scouted both paths. See? Here, don't die too soon. I concur, but afterwards... I'm afraid I need to kill you. You won't taint the King's Forge. The King's Forge? You'll only be the first. For Ivy, for Alma, for Fesher. You ready? I'm disappointed. What? No knife in my back? I'm sorry, you appear to be knife-proof. But don't worry, I prepared a little something extra. It should trigger any time. What? Now.
been wondering when I cross on Fail's path. Where are the others? We are the ghosts of the Arnosari, guardian of the Order. And we know your destiny. You will help the Dark King to bring the Amulet of the Sleeper to Selina, the last survivor, and set him free with this. He will not do this. He hates the Dark King. You should know. If you do not help the Dark King, his destiny will be sealed. And the world will be doomed to destruction.
Dano's help. How did you get here? From the mountains. I didn't know there was a path there. Leads only down, not up. You must have come from the gods. A radiant hero in our time of need. What is it? Those horrid undead. They're blocking the entrance to the cave. What's going on here? Where are the undead coming from? They come from the battlefield. A whole army. It was a horrible sight. Calm down. A whole army of those wretches is on the way? That's... that's right. Good man. Most of them are heading for Thorniara, but some of them attacked us. Don't worry. Okay, I'll deal with this. Thank you, stranger. Thank you. Right. I think the path to the cave is safe now. That is very good news. Could you do something else for us? What? Our village. The undead. Are in your village. Got it. Where is it? In the southwestern part of Thorniaran territory. We'll be waiting nearby, yes? Good. I'll take care of your village.
Your village is safe again. Good man. We want to thank you. Here, take this key. South of our farm, in the mountains, there's a collapsed tunnel where you might find some treasure. My parents told me this is a key to some treasure. Why don't you fetch the treasure yourselves? Nobody dares. The tunnel's dangerous. Death lurks behind every corner.
Gone? Well, who did you expect? A city watch? A paladin? Yeah, they let themselves be overrun by the undead. The stupid bums. So the city was conquered? All of it. Except the fortress. When we came here, I took my axe at once. And crushed some bones. Now, at least the streets around the marketplace are free again. Listen, Gorn, I need to see the king. Well, you'd better speak to Diego, then. He's been looking for a way into the fortress for some time now. Where can I find Diego? At the harbor. Go left along the houses until you reach the stairs. They'll lead you to the slums. Just look for Ningal. He must be there somewhere. He can show you the way. Ningal is in Thorniara? Yes. Diego saw all this crap from him. He sailed for Tushu. Fetched the Grand Masters to help us fight against the undead. Enos, protect us in our distress. Free me from this insanity. Help me to protect myself. This is well. Nah, the neophyte. What? You are to suffice. No. I've got no time to run errands, Gorn says. You know how I can get to the harbor? That's right. The way is blocked, though. How can I get through? In the slums, there are two obelisks. If you activate both of them, you should be able to reach your goal. How can I activate the obelisks? I have prepared a spell and bound it in two scrolls. All right then, give me the scrolls. I need to get to the harbor. I don't have them. My assistants have them. And they are? Dead. One of the useless fools you can see from here if you descend the stairs. The other one. Well, you will have to look for him.
I've activated the obelisks. Yes, I can sense a magic flow. Here's the key to the Market Bridge Gate. It's in the northern part of the Market Quarter and leads to the harbor. What? I really didn't need to go to the obelisks? You certainly did. Otherwise, I wouldn't have given you the key. You tricked me! Why? You activated the obelisks and that gets you to the harbor. There you are. Ah, I knew you'd make it here. Diego, good to see you again. I found the forge in the Forgotten Temple. <laughs> then Lyrka was right. Lyrka? Forget it. It's good that you're here. What are you doing here? I'm waiting for Milton. He's late. Ah, but tell me, what did you find in the temple? Does the forge really exist? The forge is real. I found something more important in the temple. What? The truth. My revenge will have to wait. There is something more important here than I need to take care of. Gorn says you're looking for a way into the fortress. Yes. I need to speak with Daka very urgently. But the fortress is blocked off. Any stranger is immediately suspected of cooperating with Drorhang. Who is Daka? The King's master spy. She's the only one still on our side. With her help, we could convince Hagen of our innocence. Your innocence? Drawhang brought us into discredit back then. He wanted to get rid of us. Together, with Hagen's troops, we might still be able to save this town. How do we get into the fortress? Milton said he'd bring someone who could smuggle us in. But I think it's unwise to put all our eggs in one basket. What do you intend to do? Go to my place and discuss it with Lester. All he's been doing for the last few days is searching for a way to get into the fortress. How can I get to your place? Simply follow the harbor street until its end, and you'll reach a gate to my place. Nobody's here!
Look at that, my friend! And in one piece! I see you survived your exertions pretty well. Diego sent me. Diego, was the meeting successful? Milton hasn't turned up yet. How are you doing here? We haven't found just one way into the fortress, but three. However, Rotter, Jilvi, and Duranis can't agree on which one we should take. Maybe they'll listen to you. Rotta, Jilvi, and Duranis? What are they doing here? You'd better ask them yourself, my friend. All right. How does the saying go? He who fares badly, may he drink me. Lester thinks you know the way to the castle. I took a closer look at some of the old town maps. Diego gave them to Duranis to study. But the fellow thinks his own plan's much better. But I found something on the maps. What have you found on the city maps? In the occupied part of the market quarter, there's an old alley. It leads along the southern end of the trench, along the fortress. I'll kick my own ass if it doesn't lead into the fortress, right? Is there a catch? Well, you'll have to fight a way through these bloody sacks of bones, but it shouldn't be a problem, right? You just blow at them and they'll fall over. <laughs> Smelling of booze like that, absolutely. <laughs> this quarter's ideal for close combat. If you take a close look at the map, You'll notice corners and narrow streets everywhere. You don't need to worry about the cowardly archers and mages there. Just jump out from behind a corner and bam! Whack them with one sword blow! <laughs> yes, I brought Ingo some honey. Excellent, mate! Brilliant! I'm bloody thirsty, right? Don't drink too much. Maybe I'll need you. Don't you worry, mate. There's yet to be a mean brood that knocked out old water, right? I'll check out the old alley. Yes, do so. A and take this key. What's it for? Looks pretty old. A trader on the marketplace slipped it to me. Well, I asked around about a secret path. It should fit the door at the entrance. Give it a try anyway. Okay, give me the key and I'll try the door. Sure! Go teach him a lesson! Hey. Well, who do we have here? I need to get into the fortress by all means. Lester says you know how to get in there. Yes, I came across a man by the name of Snarf. He's the king's cook and needs to get into the castle himself urgently. But the undead have surrounded his house. If you clear the way to the fortress and get him in there safely, he should be able to vouch for you. The guards should let you in then. I like your plan. I'm going to rescue Snarf and bring him to the fortress. In fact, Snarf even gave me a key. It, here, take it. But... But... The way to the wealthy quarter is barricaded. You'll have to make a detour. No problem. Explain it to me. You can enter the sewers through Diego's basement. Enter the trench from there and follow it to the eastern part of the wealthy quarter. It's quite an open area, just right for a marksman. Snob's house is in the west of the quarter. He put some candles in the window so it shouldn't be hard to spot. He's put some candles on the windowsill so we can find him.
How can I help you? Who stands before my tired eyes? Welcome. Lester says you know a way into the fortress. I'm working on it, that's right. So where's the hitch? The counterpart of this teleport circle lies in the fortress, but as long as we haven't been there... You can't teleport there. Why are you wasting your time on this? Because it's possible to activate the stone circle with a command room from a distance. I created a golem and sent it to my shop to bring me Milton's old command room, but I'm beginning to get worried. About the golem? He should have returned long ago. Hmm. He might have been damaged. Why is your idea better than Rorda's or Jilvi's? Contrary to the others, I can guarantee that you'll get into the fortress. And? Searching for a golem shouldn't be difficult for a cunning mage. In the harbor corner, it's easy to avoid missiles, and you can easily trick all melee attackers. Well, I do it myself, but to be honest, I cast my last combat spell ten years ago. Good. We'll do it your way. Where's the golem? This door leads to the administrative quarter. The place isn't large, and the golem isn't small. You'll find it. You won't take me alive, you bastard! <laughs>
Why are you here? Have you found my gulla? What's happened? Your golem attacked me. Strange. Perhaps it's down to the obelisks. Have you got the ruin? Here it is. Very well. You'll appear in the fortress in just a heartbeat. I am ready. Time to pay Robar a visit. is getting silly. What are you doing here? First, tell me. What are you doing in my fortress? In your fortress? The king's fortress. What is it you're doing here? Looking for Daka. You found her. What do you want from me? You are Daka? Yes. In Thorniara I am. Wait. Diego sent you, didn't he? What does he want? Zyra, Docker, whatever you're called. Diego needs you. He can prove his innocence to Lord Hagen. It's impossible right now. You can't leave Diego to rot just like that. I've got no other choice. Hagen's missing. Missing? The fool marched out with our best troops to challenge Drurhong in the Bastion. And he hasn't returned. Hagen is dead. Or worse. We'll see. Do you mean to... Druahang, what can you tell me about him? He always gave me the creeps. Too slick, too uncompromising. But we needed every man we could get hold of. Druahang's mercenaries have proved themselves many times. In Nordmar, in Verent. In Fesher. In Fesher? Hagen never issued that order. Who then? Robar the Third? Nobody. When Drurhong attacked, he was acting on his own. I'm going to the Bastion. Where is it? At the Eastern Gate. If you absolutely must go there, take the bridge from the courtyard to the Arena Quarter. I'll have it open for you. Mercenary? The sleeper! I... King Roba? Far away, I...
The battlements at the eastern gate. Be there. Dig. Comes a good snack. At last, I'm rescued. I thought I'd starve to death here. Whose chest is it from which I got a key to your cell and this bangle? Drorhang's. Drorhang. Where can I find him? He's not here. He had Lord Hagen dragged off to the arena. Then he disappeared. What's Drorhang up to with Hagen? He wants to slay him in the Lord Dominic Arena as a spectacle for his men. How do I get to the arena? Through the trench. There's an underground entrance leading to the arena cells. Best you go through the rear exit in the western part of the bastion. This is the way Drohang's men went when they took Lord Hagen to the arena. Here, I stole this key from one of them earlier. This is one of the keys Drohang handed out to his men. It should make getting to the arena easier. What happened here? We had gathered our forces for a decisive strike and pushed Drohang's men all the way back to the Bastion. At least that's what we thought. But it was a trap. A trap? Yeah. Drohang bellowed out an order, and suddenly it started raining death on the Bastion's roof. Undeath, actually. Those of us who weren't eaten got rounded up by Drohang's men, and now we're stuck in here. So the undead obey Drohang? They certainly do. He bragged about it. Said there were his army, a present from the mistress.
Who are you? What are you doing here? I'll get you out of here. What's with Diego and Milton? They were poisoned. Just like me. Poisoned? Then we mustn't lose time. They're the poison won't kill us. This is what you ran will do in the arena. It is supposed to look like a duel, but it is all just for show. For his men. That's right, my friend. Milton's contact was a traitor. I didn't pay attention. What happened? When you were gone, the contact turned up. He was out of breath and told me Milton was in trouble. I followed him directly into an ambush. He put something into my mana potions. I still can't cast any spells. What's this swine's name? Cherana. He used to be one of Hagen's men. I didn't expect he'd connive with Gruhag. Milton wasn't the only one to misjudge. Now I can see that Gruhag played foul back then already. I chased away four innocent men from the court because I thought them to be traitors. Why did Druhang want to get rid of you? To isolate the king. He was already in bad shape when we left, and without his friends. I'm going to fight in the arena in your name. It's going to be a bitter surprise for this swine. Good idea. I wouldn't like to have Druhang on my back. That's not all. He's got ivy on his conscience. It was Druhang who burned Fesher down. I found Ivy's engagement bangle among Druhang's trophies. Now he'll pay. I see. Druhang provided us with high-class armor, so we'd look more threatening. I think that if you wear it, you will indeed be in contrast to us. Hello, my friend. Greetings. For the sake of Beliar, are you? What do you want here? Your head. <laughs> My head? Do you have any idea who's standing before you? I am Drurhang, the future king of Argan. The right hand of Zisha. Zisha? I see. Then she'll be next in line. Right now, it's about you. Ha! You don't know the prophecies. Only a man from Feshir can kill Zisha. Is that so? Yes. I executed each and every inhabitant of this miserable island for my mistress. You overlooked me. What? That's impossible! I couldn't have! Shooters! Fire! Kill him! I'm gonna kill you! All that you so 
Was your revenge satisfactory? No, I don't feel any better, but I had to do it. Good. I need people like you. Duty calls. The right time has come. What do you want? I found a way to bring back the King's sanity for a short time. He'll tell us, I mean you, how to break Zisha's power. How can the king help us? The curse that took possession of him fuels Zisha's power. If anyone knows how to fight it, it's him. How do you plan to restore the king's sanity? Near the arena, I detected subtle but intense Enos emanations. They were coming from Lord Dominique's grave. You suppose Lord Dominic's grave holds a magic cure? No. A relic. Dominique Circle it. Its divine power can restore the king's sanity. Only for a short time, though. Then I'll desecrate Lord Dominique's grave for a noble purpose. Where is the grave? West of here. Go along the cliff. The grave is secured with traps. Keep your eyes open. I still need you. Who was Lord Dominique? A legend. He was a paladin. He conquered the southern islands for Myrtana. This arena was built in his honor, next to his grave. What about those three in the dungeon? I can't leave them to rot in there. I'll send word to the fortress. You've got more important things to do right now. Who are you? What are you? I'm an ally. My name's Zardaz. I saw you at the temple entrance. Are you a ghost? A male on the Siri? No. What you see is an astral projection. At present, I'm in a tower east of Tushu.
Good. You're here. The amulet! I, you won't get it! The shadows! Fight! We need to fight! First, we place this circlet underneath the crown. Fight! We... My friends, it's... it's so good to see you again. Where's Gorn? Oh, oh my head. You? Who are you? I know you. I saw you, carved in ice, surrounded by fire. Together, we forged the world. No. It was just a dream. A prophetic dream. I have seen your statue in the temple. It seems we are both pawns of a higher power. Not anymore. I drove the gods and their demons out of this world. Zardis said, the protection of your spirit won't last long. Tell me how we can help you. The Sleeper Amulet? Where is it? We had this thing taken into Enos' temple. The High Mages had sent some baleful influence. What amulet do you have in mind? The Sleeper Amulet. Some blind woman gave it to me before the war. She told me I was chosen to take it to its destined place. A blind woman? I should have known. I agreed, for old time's sake. Yet at first, I wanted to put things straight. Free Argan, and before that, Mirtana. But there was no time for that. What happened? The amulet. It was the prison of a, a demon. But it has been too far away from its resting place for too long. With each day I spent on the battlefield, the seal became weaker. Until the demon finally reached out towards me. It slipped from its prison and is now preying on my soul. Hagen, bring me the amulet. This man needs to take it to the monastery on the cliff on my behalf. He is a chosen one, just like me. We cannot take the amulet from the temple at this time, Your Highness. When the High Mages failed to destroy the amulet, they sealed it behind a magical barrier. Then we'll have the High Mages remove their barrier. What's the problem? They are dead. Durhag boasted that the temple is in the hands of Beliar cultists now. They believe this demonic woman, Zisha, to be a servant of their dark god. If Zisha sends her henchmen to the Enos temple, she must be after the amulet. They're probably trying to break the barrier. It'd be theoretically possible. I guess that with united forces, Merdarian, Ningal, and I could break the barrier too. Where are Mardarian and Ningal? Mardarian's already in the Temple District. Ningal was going to join him as soon as the slum is secured. Best speak with Duranus. They were going to confer with him. Ningal's a loudmouth. I secured the slums. That explains a lot. Let's go, Milton. I need to prepare the necessary components and speak to the King. Go ahead, I'll catch up. Duranus must be at Diego's place. Or maybe he's already in the Temple District's sewers. He wanted to inspect them. Before I was banished from the court, I created a teleport circle connecting the fortress with Diego's place. Use it, save some time.
is himself again. It won't last long. Thanks to his knowledge, we might be able to banish the evil from his spirit. Found Diego? Yes, he's all right. Diego and Milton are fine. I urgently need to know what's going on in the Enos Temple. A while ago, a magical battle took place there. Now the temple is cut off from the outside world by a barrier. Where are Ningol and Medarion? Medarion learned about some forgotten entrance to the catacombs lying underneath the temple. He was going to secure it against the undead. Ningol passed by a short while ago. Shall I open for you? Yes, do. youngest member. I almost didn't recognize you. Alas, we have no time for courtesy. I need to get into the temple urgently. I would not advise you to go there. Apparently, someone has raided the temple. They went in here through the catacombs and blocked all the entrances. I know. Milton said the three of you could break the barrier in there. How about this one? Amateur job, but supplied with a lot of power. If Ningal and I focused, we might be able to make an opening in it. Good, you do that. What's going on here, anyway? Milton can give you the details. I need to kill some cultists now. Kill! Kill!
can see. Kill! Kill! I can see. This one there belongs to me. Good job! The barrier collapsed! Only around the temple. How are we going to get a hold of the sleeper amulet? That seems to be a problem indeed. The Grand Masters are split over it, but it seems as if each of them came up with a possible solution. Ugh, you'd better speak with them yourself. Hello, my friend. Can you remove the barrier? Yes. A few days ago, I found this in the shattered remnants of a wall. What's this? Meteoric ore. In such a small lump, there's as much mana stored as in a head-high heap of magical ore. I carried out some research. Apparently, a star burst when the strong earthquake took place. The star's splinters rained down over the city. A few more lumps, and... How many of those lumps do you need? All we can get. According to my calculations, there should be at least seven more in the city. Do you happen to know where to find these lumps? I do. According to eyewitnesses, one lump fell into the fortress. Another one hit the slums, where you activated the obelisk for Ningal. Two others lie somewhere in the harbor quarter. And not far from here, in the temple district, three lumps were supposed to have landed. Duranis said you have an idea how to get a hold of the sleeper amulet. I'm all ears. We could blast the barrier. Using what? While you were killing the false believers, a blue-skinned harpy attacked me. And on bail. Druhang's death must have made Zisha insecure. On bail? Interesting. In any case, the power of my lord was strong in her. But I was stronger. Sucking her out was quite... energetic. What does that have to do with the barrier? This barrier was created by the Sheep of Inos. If we flood it with my Lord's dark power, it will break it. What do you want to do? Sacrifice on Bale on the barrier? Their hearts should be enough. In that exquisite moment of death, the gathering of... Thank you. I don't want to know the rest. How many hearts do you need? I can sense another five on bail. In the city. In the harbor. Wealthy quarter. Arena quarter. Slums and... In the temple district. That should do it. How are we going to get a hold of the sleeper amulet? The high mages of the temple did a good job. To remove this barrier, we need an enormous amount of mana. We'll practically need to endure the barrier under magical ore. Until enough ore from Corinus arrives, weeks or even months might pass. Damn it! 
I have another solution, though. In the catacombs, I discovered a hidden mana rune. Following my intuition, I detached it from its setting, and now the barrier is weaker than before. So we need to remove the other runes to cause the barrier to collapse? That's right. Each removed rune releases the next one. We could break up the barrier piece by piece. Where are the other runes? Presumably hidden far out in the city. However, I was able to gain an insight into the residual of the last century import of the mages who designed the runes. If we create a mental connection, I'd be able to lead you from one rune to the next. How many runes are we talking about? The potency of the runes should increase exponentially, so I expect three more runes at the maximum. Where's the next rune? When I took the first rune, the following reverberation reached me. Wind in my hair, smell of salt. I'm out of breath and feel a little dizzy. Behind me, blazing heat. So that's what the mage sensed when he designed the second rune? Yes, he did. Perhaps you can deduce the rune's location from that.
the hearts. Give them to me. Here are the hearts. At last, I've prepared everything. The barrier will fall in a heartbeat. One thing confuses me. Shouldn't you be on the cultist side? That question again? No, I'm on my own side and my master's side. Those cultists are misguided. Misguided? Their view of Beliar is simplistic. My master stands for far more than indiscriminate destruction. They are heretics and must die. So it was actually the amulet. Good. You bet it is. Let's get it to the king. No. If you tell me now you're in league with Zisha, I'll get really angry. In its present condition, the amulet won't help the king. It needs to be taken back to the monastery on the cliff. That's a long journey. I hope the undead didn't sink Diego's boat. Bring me the amulet. I've got the setting. You'll need it. The setting? When you are in the monastery, you'll understand. The northern lighthouse of Thorniara stands directly over a ley line. I've created a powerful teleportation spell that'll take you directly to my tower. The monastery is not far from there. You mean the lighthouse with the eerie glow? Yes. Your path leads through the graveyard. I've ordered Gorn to open the gate and clear the road for you. That's where he is. What do you want from me? I want to help you. I've been watching you since Fesher. You are him. So, you want to help, and I should believe that? It's irrelevant whether you believe or not. Your deeds count. What I do depends on what I believe. You'll do what you have to do. It is in your nature. We'll see about that. Getting older each day. What happened? Nothing. I'm just exhausted. I used to fight day and night. Now these bones aren't young enough anymore. <sighs> you deal with the rest, kiddo. But you aren't so small anymore. I see you gained some muscles. All right, Gorn. I'll give those skeletons a smack in the gob from you. 
<laughs> Off with you to the lighthouse.
Shepard from Fesher. I see you're still intact. Very good. I'm sure you have some questions. You bet I have questions. The Sleeper Amulet is a part of a much larger amulet. Too large for one human. Here's the second part of the amulet. It's the setting. What does the amulet do exactly? It binds a certain demon. It's like a magic leash. If fed with divine power, it'll become short and tight. With time, however, the reins begin to loosen. So the sleeper is something like... like this goddess's pet? Who knows? As far as I found out, the amulet is one of many. I discovered hints to other artifacts of this kind, made for the servants of Enos and Adanos. Some of them, if they really exist, would be powerful enough to... This is part of an amulet? You could siege a castle behind it. A human could use it as a shield, yes. A goddess, however... What did you manage to find out about this goddess? I hadn't heard about her before the temple. Her name hasn't been passed on, but I know one thing for sure. She is old. Very old. The people who worshipped her died out, and now only a fraction of her priestesses and monks survive. For all I care, the Aunt Bale could have died out too. If I didn't know better, I'd say they were a Beliar cult. The similarities of the Goddess to the Three cannot be denied. Maybe she was, is their sister. Or their mother. Or maybe she is a previous form of the three. So this huge amulet needs to go to the monastery. Do the monks know what to do with it? Yes. But the monastery is being attacked by Zisha right now. What? What's the fastest way to reach the monastery? Through Zoldrin. How can I get to Zoldrin? Go to the base of my tower. A tunnel in the north will lead you to your target. Beware of the Demon King of Zoldrin. He is a servant of Zisha, and his brethren are scouring the island for you.
dead. They're dead. What's happened? The unveil. Incredible. A, a desecration. The monastery. It's burning. The abbot sent us to Tushu to ask for help. But the unveil. My disciples on the bridge. All dead. Go, seek shelter. I'm going to take care of the unveil.
The Chosen One. What's this hole here? Is Zisha down there? This tunnel leads to the hideout of the last remaining Anosiri. Zisha knew we were hiding Selena. She murdered our students as a punishment. You'll have to live with the guilt. If anyone is guilty, then it's Zisha. Is she down there? Yes. One head devours the other. Zisha should never have awakened. The balance is lost. Now I'm going to restore it with Zisha's death. Out of the way! What? Yes, me. You have no idea how glad I am to meet you for the very last time.
the No Siren is fulfilled. There's the sign. Let us start the ritual. And what are your thoughts, Lord? This is our chance to destroy the occupiers. Let's attack 